Good night, everybody, and welcome to Real Talk. You know we could not do this show without you tonight. We're not going to make it without you and you and you tonight. So wherever you are, we want to appreciate the fact that you have tuned in to listen and to learn and to share from Real Talk tonight. Welcome to the show, guys. We go from now until 12 midnight. And my co-host tonight is the smooth man himself, DJ Prestige, Mr. Music and our engineering studio is none other than the silent assassin Cassidy. So, I want to welcome you all tonight. The show where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. This is real talk. All right, we want to load up some persons tonight and we want to give shout outs to our parishinas. I'm gonna start with you guys tonight, all the Portlanders who are on their way to work, who are at work, who are leaving work, who reach home, uh, those who are at the gym, those who are on the road liming with friends and family. Yes, shout outs to all of y'all tonight. Those who might not be feeling so well at home and in bed, big ups to you as well. Chillax tonight, relax, and go on, enjoy your very own Portland Station, Styles FM. All right? And of course, those who might be in the hospital not doing so, 100, 100, 100, be strong, keep the faith, and hold firm. All right? And we want to big up as well all those persons over there in St. Thomas, our friends who are looking forward to rolling out the Fan Fusion. Yes, big ups to all the people who are listening to Styles on, well, from St. Thomas, wherever you are in St. Thomas and you're tuned in, locked into Styles, or you're watching via the World Wide Web, we big you up tonight. Our friends in St. Anne, we load you up as well, and we want to see the bus loads rolling out, rolling in July 13 to Fan Fusion. And of course, yes, Taz, mm-hmm, and my St. Mary family and friends, them too. Papa and the whole crew over there in St. Mary. Oh, me leave out. St. Anne, all the other people them across Jamaica who can watch us via the World Wide Web. Big ups to all the Jamaicans right now. All the Jamaicans abroad. Yes, man. Big ups to Uno. And if you're not coming down for the summer, welcome. And remember, make fun fusion a date when you get here summer of 2019 all right so let's load up right now cassidy our friends on the social media pages because social media is just up and our buzz every single time we want to tell you that for the twitter fans you can check us out at styles fm 961 um instagram follow us at styles fm on youtube you can watch the show afterwards um on youtube at styles fm radio and for tonight's live feed, you can check us out at Styles FM 96.1. That's Facebook. And go to the fan page and watch and share. And yes, tonight. All right. Because also to our friends in New York, uh, Brooklyn, and the Bronx. In Brooklyn, it's 91.2 FM and 91.3 FM and 102.9 FM in Bronx. Okay, our friends who are on the go. I can't think of our truckers over there, our trucker friends over there who are moving, moving, moving. Yes, man. Um, our on the go friends in the USA, the number to hook us up is to so listen in is 712-832-2772. And in the UK, it's 033-001-03322. And in Canada, it's 647-957-9637. And let me just say to all my colleagues and friends who have lost loved ones, yes, condolence to you guys. I know sometimes it's very hard. All the time it's very hard to lose a loved one. But you know what? Those great fun memories, I always believe that those great memories helps to keep you afloat and keep the heart, you know, smiling and the face smiling when you remember all the fun times you would have shared as family and friends all right so condolence out to all of you celia i know you lost a relative recently um prayers are with you and the family as well and all the persons who are aching from the loss of their loved ones we hope you can find some comfort and strength in the power of christ himself and the peace that he bestows on us all right 
I have Prestige here with me tonight. Another shined man. Yeah. And he's in um, shades of orange and khaki. And, you know, getting ready for that fan fusion look. A similar kind of light and, you know. I'm not coming to fan cool. fusion this year. Excuse me? I'm not going to be a fan fusion this year. I didn't year. hear that. So oh. I'm going to pretend I didn't even hear that mm -mm. because... You need to be there for all your fans who will be coming. All the people you have on Smoozic, all yeah. the ladies you have been enticing, yeah. stimulating, yeah. Um, every, every ing you can think of. Mm -hmm. And they want to hear about all the food you've been eating and all the things you've been tasting and all the videos you've been doing. They need to know all about it. Mm -hmm. And all the food you've been cooking and all these things. They need to know about it. So you can't stay home. There's no home for prestige on Fan Fusion Night, July 30. You got to be there in your elegantly dressed, casually elegant outfit. So the ladies them can roll out and see, oh, prestige really is in live and living colors. I don't think nobody interested in to come and see me at Fan Fusion. Ladies, I mean. you're going to call in tonight for no, those sir. who want to get a hug mm -mm. or a chops no, or even the number. From DJ Prestige, mm. because I know the ladies out there I are listening. Be I wouldn't be missed that fan And you know, I'm not even going to go there with you. Mm. Anyways, yeah, our local not number, I'm not listening to you with the fan, no, fan fusion mm. thing. Yeah. You need to be there. Mm. And if you make, I know where you live. I can't come and draw you out of the house. Oh, yeah, sir. I know where you live. That you was the mistake say, you made. Oh, you're coming in place, burglar bar up. <laughs> <laughs> then I have to go and pry. Dog pry. around there. Are you afraid of that? Cassidy, dog, dog around there? Dog run if it's true. Robert T. Dog, no. Are you real, real dog? <laughs> 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 the the local <laughs> number to call is 876-453-1444. We invite you to make those calls when you're ready. We have a caller online already. We lost the call. Oh, sh call us back, darling. After the break a little bit, yeah? Oh, coming call, coming right back. Hello, caller. Good night. My problem. In my problem. Hello, caller? Yeah, I'm still here. What, what you say, my problem? But you want to see my fan fusion, don't it? Yes. Oh, oh. caller number one. Okay, mm. we'll hear more calls tonight. Thank you, caller. <laughs> you see? You see yeah. my tap, boy? Yeah. Oh, okay, don't, me don't talk to you. So, disappoint them and you will see what happened to you. All right. International if two, number. If more than three cars come in, me now come a fan fusion. <laughs> call, I'm gonna call it is call. If the, more than the international <laughs> number is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. That is the international number if you wish to call us up tonight. And big ups, big ups, big ups to Diane Green Valentine. I call her that all the time. That's how she stored in my phone. Mm -hmm. She tell me her name is Diane Green. But yes, it's Diane Green Valentine for me. And big ups to Mr. Valentine as well. And of course, um, our kids over there in Connecticut and Georgia, Atlanta. Big ups to Vivian and all the Atlanta people, them. At girl Lisa. Charmy, Charmy, where's Charm? I'm not sure where Charm is, if it's New York. Which, which? which? Our Charm man, Charmy, Charm, oh. we just talk the things, them real talk every time. Mm. Yes, big ups to all our friends. My friend Dan Dan, DG Angel, big ups to you. And guess what? We're going to our first break. It's 9.30. And the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around, we'll soon come. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Did you know that the mosquitoes that cause dengue, chikungunya and zika bite both during the day and the night? To prevent mosquito bites, apply insect repellent containing DEET on bare exposed skin at least three times a day. Guess what? 
Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518 518- Two three nine nine. With discounts so great, we can only have it once per year. Carib Hardware and Electrical Services, same everything electrical, will be having our annual sale starting July 1st to the 6th. We have massive discounts on all your hardware and electrical supplies, such as windows, doors, plywood, cements, wires, panel boxes, breakers, meters, sockets, and switches, plumbing and lighting fixtures, and much more at unbeatable prices of up to 70% off. Come early and save big. We at Carib Hardware we are here to serve you. Visit us at 40 West Street, Port Antonio, next to Singer, or call us at 876-715-6412 or WhatsApp 876-461-7172. That's Carib Hardware and Electrical Services Annual Sale. Come shop with us and save big. Confusion! The most anticipated party of the summer is back. Styles FM Fan Fusion Party Episode 6 Drunken Masquerade Saturday, July 13, 2019 at the Bayview Waterfront Property Oysters Bay, Port Antonio, Jamaica Come here, Styles FM's finest DJs juggling retro hits from the 70s, 80s, 90s and early 2000s Admission 700 pre-sold 1,000 at the gate, VIP 3,500, Styles Ebo 6,000 Party starts at 7 p.m. sharp Listen to Styles FM for ticket outlets or call 876-518-2399 876-518-2399 Fan Fusion Party Drunken Masquerade Dress tropically elegant Fan Fusion is not just a party It's an experience Must be 18 years and older to enter ID required Drink responsibly Fan Fusion Planning a party? Club night out? Stage show? A gospel concert? Or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. And tonight my co-host is DJ Prestige And we are going to have a great show So Prestige, I have some great news for the entire Jamaica, the entire world How are you say? Yes mm, Good for me too I should think so mm, If you're money? happy for Pardon me? If you're happy making for money? Something for us to make money? Not really, not yet mm? No Something for me to live I'll just be quiet, years? prestige. And I my, can live my, for the next 55 years? No. My students got their results today. Oh, that is so nice. Yes. Yeah. So congratulations to all the children across Jamaica mm. who did the PEP, especially the grade six, well, the grade six who cohort of students mm. who are doing that aspect of it for the very first and time. And your students? They were the guinea pigs, pretty much. Oh. Um, Kudos and thumbs up to all the children who worked their yeah. tails off to do very well. All the parents who assisted, who really made the effort to assist in every way possible. Kudos to you parents for doing your part as best you could. And of course, to all the hardworking, devoted, committed teachers who took it upon themselves to spend time in the evenings. I want to put them, I give trouble and talking. You stayed back with them in the evenings on Saturdays to ensure that you give them as much practice as possible to do the best that they could. Teachers or jobs, oh my goodness, it's something else. Mm-hmm. And we can never really be truly compensated 
financially for the work that we do. So kudos to all the grade six teachers, all the other teachers who assisted with these students. Thumbs up to Unus and to myself. Right, so my kids did very well, our school yeah. pretty well. Yes, man, I'm proud of my students mm -hmm. and some good passes. Yeah. Very, very interesting passes. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, every time you won't have everybody being 100% comfortable yeah. because maybe they never got in first choice, or maybe they went to the second choice, or maybe the third choice. But, you know, that's how it goes. I always tell them, though, wherever you go, mm -hmm. you can go there and shine. You can go there and take the best from all the teachers there, take the best that the institution has to offer, do your additional reading mm -hmm. and ensure that you keep abreast of what's happening. And I really tonight want to urge the parents. You see, parents, sometimes we cuss and say, the papas them, the fathers them are absentee fathers and, you know, business with the picnic. And I mean, one have him as the mother, you might say, you know, she might say, I mean, one have Tom and Mary. I, I, I raised for, for go school and send them to school and I wash the uniform and everything. Yes, mommy. Thumbs up to you because you're a child too. Yep. Yes. But you know what I find? Sometimes the very so mothers. Daddy? Hold on. Sometimes the very mothers who team. quarrel that the daddies are absent. Everything you find that when they go to high school, even mm. before high school, some of the very same moms. Mm. I end up being absentee moms at, and when it comes down to school. We not get recon, we recognition, recognition we're supposed to get. We not recognize none at all. Until no, we cry don't out. get me wrong. I'm just saying. Cry out my point is. Recognition. No, ma'am. My point oh my is. God. You have fathers who do come to school. Don't get me wrong and mm -hmm. check up. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, I don't want the parents, generally speaking. Yeah. More fathers should be active in the children's life at school. We want, we want to see more fathers, honestly. Mm -hmm. But I also don't want, don't want to see the parents only when it's graduation time. Mm -hmm. You know, our first morning when they're coming out. Mm -hmm. Whether it's primary school or high school. Be there as a constant mm -hmm. reminder to your Pop children. No yes, then. man. Get the, yeah. the teacher's number. The mm -hmm. have 15 teachers. Get the 15 teachers' numbers. Because they right. have different subjects at high school. 15? Sometimes they have different, yeah, 12, 13, mm. they're about. Oh. So when you, when you when they reach to high school, get the teacher's number and every now and again, you know, but on a termly basis, um, they are, they are uh, how many months per term? They're about th four months, they're about on average. You need to check in, if I have two, three times for the term, See all the child going from term one. Then when term two come out, the report no, no look so impressive. Draw them up. Take away certain pleasures from them when you see them not performing properly. Now just load them up say, oh, a teacher for do and a teacher for do. Don't be an absentee mom from school and then cuss the father say he's an absentee dad from home. None of you at all should be absent from the child's life. Ensure that you're there 24-7s. And now let me say, oh, in big no, in can manage. Be there to see how best you can get whatever help the picnic need. If you notice that the picnic can't do so well in language arts or mathematics or the sciences, and you would want to get some help, there are classes around the place. Get a tutor, get somebody to assist them so they can start building from an early age. Yes, yeah, start building on their weak areas. Please, parents, we urge you. All right? And those coming to primary school too, don't just bring them first man, first man in prestige school full. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Parents like a trouble on the school compound. And we are like, oh my goodness, good to see you. And then when something goes wrong, we don't see them, some of them again. Some who are always there, we appreciate those. But then there are some you never see them again until graduation meeting, you see them coming out. And then at the ceremony, they're there and you're like, oh, your so-and-so's mother or father went for the whole year, parents. We were at school with the child and we never meet you again after the first morning. Some of them, we never see them ever, ever, ever at all until graduation. It has to stop. You think so, don't it? Yeah, man. Be more proactive in the educational development of your child it's not just teacher one responsibility mm. a big part of the responsibility is also parents. for the parents all right parents 
Yeah, man. Yes. Mm. So what's up with you? Well, you know, we're right this morning. Yeah. Went to the beach. Hey. This afternoon. Oh my remember goodness. Virginia. Yeah, man. Remember have a drink. I want well, no, a medi. No, we don't have no drink. Lie you tell. I mean, I have to come to work. This, um, you you don't have no drink? No. Nah. Water. And eat some, oh, yeah, some jerk pork. Water and jerk pork. It was a menu? Yeah. Mm. You drink water and eat jerk pork? Yeah. Why not? Not even a red striped beer? Coconut water. You? Yeah. Coconut water. That possible, Cassidy? No red striped beer. That possible? Yes. <laughs> Cassidy is saying no with a smile. I know, it's, yeah. I know that smile means no. Yeah. Coconut water. Uh-huh. Um, roast turned breadfruit. fruit. Uh-huh. And you ate pork? Jerk chicken. You ate pork. And jerk pork. Hey, it was jerked. And we got bastard. <laughs> yeah. Jerk nice. pork. Nice. Yeah. Off you have it jerk, yeah. my yo. Porky, yeah, man. Porky pig. Porky pig. Off you jerk. Yeah. Jerk, yeah. Jerk. Is it your face? I like the pepper. Hey. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I hear you, brother. I hear you. Say so it was nice. You don't like the pepper? No, no pepper yeah. for me, really. No pepper. Because you'll be in a lot of trouble. Mm-hmm. Drinking a lot of water. True. Hi, Nyla. Big ups to Nyla from St. Andrew. How you doing, pretty lady? Mm. It has been quite a while indeed. Big ups to you, my dear, 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 very special lady. Nyla. Yes. Uh, Kadian is up and running. Hi, Kadian. Good to see you on board. Congrats to her sister, Kasian, who we're going to teach field. All right. And big ups to Seaside Primary School teachers, students, parents, and our dear principal, Mr. Lewis. Yes, man. Mr. Adlai Lewis, I tell you, him just have it like that. Big ups to Mr. Lewis as well. Maybe we're cousins. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I want to yeah. say good night to um, Sandy over there in Miami, Florida. And big up yourself every time, Andy. Mm -hmm. Herbert, Lactine, San Andre, Colombia. And of course, you see big Andy there, safe. our Andy from St. Thomas too, mm. locked in. Nova, hi Nova, I didn't see Nova last week, did I? I didn't see Nova last week at all. Nova, good to have you. Kimoy, Taz, my bro, over there in St. Mary, big ups, big ups, big ups to you and wifey. Mm-hmm, I did it clear, coming from Dwight McKenzie. From Buff Bay, Portland. All right, Dwight McKenzie. Big ups to you as well for being locked into Styles FM tonight. Um, we're leaving out anybody? Yes. Who are we leaving out? We're leaving out Nova up there in Illinois. Yes, man. I, I mentioned Nova, man. Nova? She's already locked in right there. Mm -hmm. How are you saying? Mm -hmm. No, different Nova there. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Kevin in yeah. Tampa, Florida, locked in. Big up yourself. Kevin, yes, Kevin, I know, right? I know, I know, I know. And of course, big ups to Damie, oh, Jamie Lee. Oh, Lord. I, I'm mixing up the name, Nyla. Let's, let's text me the name, please. Yes, man, Mr. McCalla, a very outstanding student from Mona. Um, Mona Primary School, is it? Yes. Um, very outstanding at the JCD level, at uh, JCDC level as well. He was on television a couple weeks ago. They, um, I don't remember. I don't know why I'm having Damie J, Jamie Day. It, it's, I'm twisting up my tongue right now with the name. All right. Um, and we see more persons locking in, locking in. Yes. Keep the, com the, keep the text coming in, please. The WhatsApp message is coming in. And remember to call if you want to see Prestige. At Fan Fusion. Yes, ladies, roll those calls and remember the number is 876 453 1444 for the local line and 954 338 7973. Because I know people like Taria want to just greet and meet and hug up prestige. And Tari yes, Tari man. Taria just come back on the radar. She was off the oh, radar. Oh, so for a while. Yeah, okay, after radar. okay. She just came back. All right. Yeah. It's a big pleasure having to, the bacteria. Big ups to Kemar in Bunny Gate. I'm seeing there. Not, not sure who that one is from. Um, Marlene in Milton, Ontario, locked in. Big up yourself, Marlene. Yes, sir. Our friends are rolling in. Kevin, big ups to Kevin in Whitehall, St. Thomas. All right. So, mm -hmm. all right. So, Prestige. You've yes. had a great week. I've had a very hectic one yeah. with the whole 
um, school leaving the exercise. School. Yeah. Yes, man. And, and everybody waiting for results, results to come anticipation, out and, and the exams, yeah. end of term exams, and all of that. So mm -hmm. it was. It's been a really hectic week. The weekend I'm, is here. Yes. Why don't you go to the, the beach on Sunday? I went to the beach yesterday with my district association. Mm. Yes, we had a sip and chill evening on the beach. The beach of Sanshai, of course. And the ladies oh. had fun. We played down the shandy, upscotch. Mm. No, not an upscotch. Down the shandy or scrunchy. Mm. And we played uh, on baseball. Where did I see? Yes, we went to the beach. And I was in my swimwear. Mm. Is that different with beach and sea? <laughs> and guess what? Yeah. We had no ball, but because we are Jamaican women and we're yeah. teachers, yeah. We might box. I add? I box. No, 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 dear. We couldn't find any of that. Yeah. We got some almond leaf. Yeah. And we just put two dry almond in the middle of the leaf, them. Yeah. And we roll it and we roll it. A rubber band. We got a, no, which rubber band? Crunchy. We got a plastic bag, a clear bag. Not a black one, please. Mm. A single-use clear bag. Yeah. What the difference you make on a plastic scene with? Because them say it's illegal and we don't want to get locked up. So the, the clear one in a plastic scene with? Yes. So? But them not, them not ban that one. Yeah. All right. So we got this clear bag and we stuff this up them in there. Yeah. Yes, man. And we tie it. Hey, we I'm get ball for we done this and you stay there. Yeah. And we get ball for we baseball and it, but far, far, far. Yes, man. We had a great evening. Yeah. And we had lemon beer and liquor. And jerk chicken and festival and cake and yes, so the district association, Port Antonio District Association, mm -hmm. that was our last meeting. We closed out the year in fine style. Mm -hmm. And we took pictures and we dip and we enjoy ourselves in the water. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. teachers must learn to have fun and relax after a hard year's work. Mm -hmm. When you say when they say Port Antonio, I just said Portland. No, no, no. It's there are four DAs. Yeah. We have the Port Antonio DA. We yeah. have the East Portland, that's out the east side. Yeah. We have the St. George's down Buff Bay side. Yeah. And we have the Rio Grande DA, which is up Rio Grande end. Mm -hmm. So all those are four different DAs that make up the parish of Portland. Portland. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so when our when DA you all invite people to your meeting or what? We invite the teachers of the schools within Port Antonio yeah. to attend. All the so teachers, the JT, Massa. What do you mean, Massa? A teacher or something. Then you know, can't invite up parents though. No, a teachers meeting. I just teachers. Yes, man. So all the teachers of the, this DA Port yeah. Antonio schools are supposed to be at our meeting. Oh, the, okay. the, the JTA members okay, okay, and okay, the ones from you. the eastern end should yeah. go to their meetings. Okay, and so on. got you. And we already know we have two meetings for the year. We meet up with everybody yeah, yeah, half yearly and regional. AGM. Yeah, for this for parish. This parish. Right. So okay. yes. Mama Celia, hey, Jefferson City, Missouri, okay, locked in, big up yourself, Mama C, nice, Annette in Duck and Feel also locked in, a blessed good night always, listen and enjoy the program, big up every time, Annette in Duck and Feel, yes, Mama, good to have you, good to have you, enough love, all right, and of course, Annette too from Soho. So we have two on it, are we are say, mm. and it from Soho, St. Thomas, White Hall, area there, something mm -hmm, up on the hill, and from Duck and Field as well. Mm. Natasha locked in as well. All right, so we people in my rollout, I just you love, know, me you, love that. You're you not good, like go parties and stuff like that. You know, I used yeah. to a lot yeah, more you know. than I do even now, but the time like is just not party there. And I love them, but the time just not there, oh, man. Okay. This girl is just. On oh. fire, busy, busy all the time. Yeah. yeah, so when I do get a little break, mm -hmm. I like I just want a rest moment, you mm -hmm. know, because everybody getting, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, Why teachers no. always, it seems to be always busy than any other else workers. I, I, I don't understand. We job not pretty, you know. Yeah. And our ordinary job we got, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's an extraordinary one. Yeah. And you know too. Teacher <laughs> is teacher. Teacher is yeah, doctor. I mean, no, teacher is. Teacher is, teacher is <laughs> may I tell you, teacher is detective. Teacher is nurse. Yeah. Choo choo. <laughs> teacher is counselor. Teacher and mother. Yeah. Teacher of a father too. Yes. And I have to try and nurture. And when summer pull east, teacher try to pull back on the narrow and crooked straight way. You know what I say? Narrow and crooked, and eh -eh. the when narrow way, the crooked school, way, them gone on the crooked way, but we are trying to straight them school, up back. When school is out, student home, teachers still doing the, 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 the um, 
Preparation, Preparation yes. yes. If we go back January, September morning. I'm sending um, a true report. report. So you see, we, we just we work right up yeah. to the end of the year for true. Mm. So the two little time we get for, mm. for relax. Mm. I'm about enough to complain because I tell you, and I want to add or something. So I'm to the eight month and the, and the four month. And the Look here, stop telling about eight months <laughs> because eight the months only they come. Cut them out? No, the when eight months years? only come once after 10 years. After 10 years? Yes. Okay. And the four months is after five years. Yeah. You know how hard it is to work for five years before yeah. you can get one for four months. Yeah. My youth, a long. Then you not pass a long time. Yeah, I passed my eight months. I'm looking yeah. for the next eight now soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anna, in this doesn't Ducken, I think right. Ducken mm-hmm. feel. Mm-hmm. Anna in Ducken feel. That's why I love that profession. Why? Because of the holiday? No. Mm. The holiday not compared to the stress throughout the year, my love me. I tell you, because as you put on your head in July, mm-hmm. you have to get up back for August oh. and for prepping yourself for the task that is ahead of you. And believe me, I've done it for 18, 19 years, and trust me, it's a whole lot of stress. But if you love it, that's the field to be in. Yeah. If you have a passion, a real strong, deep passion for it, then that's the place to be, yeah? All right, so tonight we have a Vox Pop. A rather interesting Vox Pop, can I tell you? Mm-hmm. Now, I have some whole heap of mixed views and reviews and attitude, mixed up moods and attitudes about this Vox, Vox Pop. You want a song to play? Yes, man. Mm-hmm. Mixed up moves mm-hmm. and attitude. attitude. I can't use them. I sure can't use them mm-hmm. any now. Something like so. Mm-hmm. <coughs> <Oost>. So, <laughs> my co-host, Daddy Road, mm. will definitely burn a fire on me tonight because of my view. Mm. And I think I have some other friends around who would say, but you're biased, man. You're mm. being biased towards the men and so on and mm. so forth. But let's share the Vox Pop, guys. And I urge you and you and you out there to feel free tonight to share in this one because it's about the men. We're focusing on the men. And I want the men to call in and to try in whatever way they can to genuinely and honestly allow women to know that not all men are the same. If it is that that's not how we see it is not how it is, I want the men to call in and to clarify and to make their case be known that, look here, man, we deserve this particular, um, uh, what would I say, pleasure or no pleasure? Mm-mm. We, I can't, I can't, I'm lost for words. Can you imagine that? We deserve this. Mm -hmm. And these are the reasons why we deserve this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share the Vox Pop with you and then we Mm. dive more into it. You're talking about the men. Yes, man. The Mm. men tonight. The Jamaican men. The men from all about. The the, the black strong men. The white strong men. Mm -hmm. All the men. (coughs) Indian man. Coolie, shiny, everybody mix up, mix up. All I want to tonight, um, wherever you are, whatever your profession, whatever your occupation, whatever your skill, we want to hear from you tonight. And we want you to know that we really, really genuinely want to hear from your, hear your views so we can let John Public know that, look, man, the view you had of men before now, as of tonight, should be changed. Amen? So, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Do you think <coughs> men should be granted paternity leave? Explain why or why not. So, Paternity leave, like we have maternity leave for the mothers when they're pregnant and going have the before they have the baby, mm. they go and leave to, you know, prepare mm. themselves for that delivery process. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Do you think, on the other hand, the father of that child, providing he is the father, I don't know, no one next door that they know. Anyway, um, do you think the father of the child should also be given granted leave, leave from work so he can stay at home? Stay at home, be at home with mommy and the baby, 
bonding and nurturing the child, helping out the mom, caring for her while she cares for the baby, and also assisting in whatever way you can to nurture this baby and form that you know, connection with this newborn child. That's what paternity leave talking about, yeah? Part two, you see your face prestige. And I don't see Cassidy looking like him. Um, well, we soon hear from you. Mm -hmm. What is a man's role in the care of an infant? Eh? Can a man care for the newborn baby, the little infant? Him just yeah. born. Mm. Eh? I'm going one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, two, two months. Mm -hmm. Can a man care for this little baby this infant yeah does the man have a role in caring for this infant most definitely most definitely yeah, that's my the son. men that's my are daughter. speaking okay mm -hmm. part three says do you think the love a woman has for her partner remains the same after the birth of their child explain well, well, well. It grows stronger. It grows stronger? Yeah. I would love to hear if the women share a different view. Women, mm -hmm. when you have the baby, do you feel more love for the daddy or do you feel less love? Or is your love determined by how he operates? Is your love conditioned? To whether or not he's there for you or there with you or there to support his child is you know where do you draw the line do you say no matter what i'm a baby daddy i love him mm -hmm. love him even, love him even more now because he give me a youth mm -hmm. and if i never for him i couldn't have my son or my daughter whom mm -hmm. i love so dearly mm -hmm. so do i still love do you still love the father if i'm a real father or do, mm -hmm. do you say to yourself you know what mm -hmm. i'm just glad to my picnic coming up because that old crofty man Mm. I started the I meet him. Mm. I hate him, see. Yeah. Do you do that? Ladies, talk to me as well, all right? But men, please feel free to share in this Vox Pop tonight. All right? <laughs> Remember, the local number is 876-453-1444. You can also send us a WhatsApp text message on the number as well and you can send us a sms as well on the number all right remember no whatsapp calls are acceptable and we have that overseas number i want you from dandan in tonight and um are we friend him from foreign friend there. and for the old man friend there we are saint, saint thomas yeah yes man and yeah. we want to hear from tonight. Our friend there who uh, for, uh, um, always Texas. call up Texas. Yes, Marvin. man. Marvin and the whole crew. <laughs> All right. Um, so before we go to, go to the break, let's see who is there now. Yes, I think they should get leave because some of us men, we take... Uh -um. Help no want. Okay. We hmm? take the babies to the clinic uh -huh. and we do our best. That's my view, Okay. Thank you, Dwight from Buff Bay. Oh, God, I just love what the men are responding already. I like that. Very good. And, of course, big ups to him son, Kelmy, so, mm -hmm. who did well in the, I guess, the exam. All right, we are on. We have a minute to go. Yes, hold on, Cassie. King Mitchell. Look up yourself, King Mitchell. Yes, he can by helping the mother. Okay. All right, King. Gotcha. Um, who else say yes? Raquel, Pilot St. Thomas, pick up yourself. Up to you too, girl. All right, so I'm seeing where um, two, three men have responded already. Mm -hmm. And right after the break, we hear a whole lot more. Don't go anywhere. We have more after the break. It's now 10 o'clock. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Nassal Native Audio Stage and Lighting is the sponsor of Real Talk. Stick around. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing. 
Lane at 893-2266. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, no? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight seven days per week call 715-5132 email ramtula supercenter at gmail.com remember we have the best prices in town business operators local and overseas this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Don't miss the adrenaline rush. With the musical ingenious Digital T. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8. Come, Styles FM. Digital T. Our brain. Look, huh? Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Native Audio Stage and Lighting now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play wedding, street party or club setting you name it, we'll bring it to life call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531 Native Audio Stage and Lighting a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude Welcome back to the show, guys. We are talking about whether or not men should get paternity leave. Yeah? Cassidy, pull up back that Vox Pop question for us tonight. It's in three parts, as usual. Um, do you think men should be granted paternity leave? Explain why. Or if you say no, why not? What make them mustn't get it? Yeah? And what is a man's role in the care of an infant? And part three, do you think the love of a woman, do you think the love a woman has for her partner remains the same after the birth of their child? You know, um, we do have a call from our overseas connection. Good night, caller. And you're on air. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night. Hi, what's up? Nothing much. How are you doing? You're sounding bright. I'm not bad, thank you. <laughs> okay, good. All yes, right, here's no. What's your take tonight, sir? All right, here it is now. Um, in as far back as 1999, yes. I had, I don't recall, it might have been about eight weeks paternal, paternal leave. You got eight weeks paternal leave? It might be eight, it might be somewhere around there. But I, I think at the time you had like, you could have gotten up to up to three months um, yes. paternity leave. Um, yeah, paternity leave. Mm -hmm. 
that's that's not New York. Yes. So obviously, they have to agree with this new with, with this new paradigm that if 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 it come on stream that yeah. Paternal, paternal leave is just as important as maternal leave. Tell us but the other thing is no. Yes. It's much easier <clears throat> if mm. it's if it's staggered um vis -vis the, the maternal leave. Repeat right? that, you get that. The, the mother will, will probably, uh, what what is the regulation in, in Jamaica for time off? How much can you get to maternal leave? Uh is it two, three months thereabouts, yeah. Okay. So so if it if let's say if, it, if it's three months mm -hmm. um and so the mother has to go back to work um after three months. Yes. Then then that's when the, 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 the paternal paternal leave um, should come into effect. Should, yeah, yeah. So so the bonding and staying at home with the kid is uh -huh. staggered between both parents. So tell me something now. You're saying then that the average woman, it's okay for the average woman to go back to work after two or three months, leaving her. No, 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 no. no. That's that's why I ask what, what what's the maternal leave? What's the regulation? If it's two or three months, I'm not saying it's okay. Probably should be more. Uh, oh, you are saying the average Jamaican man should. They're given three months or more. You're looking at looking at, at what? At least no, 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 man, no, no, no. no. You, you mean the man? No, they mean you mean we're talking about the mother or the father. Yeah, the, the, the father. I'm saying you're saying it should be it could be more. So I'm saying, are you proposing then that the average Jamaican man who's a father should say get up to like six months paternity leave with pay? Um, I'm, with I'm not pay? Say six months. I, 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 I would. You know, if I, if I'm enacting the law, yes, I would move in the, in the first instance to up to three months. Okay. Paid, 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 paid. Okay. And if mm. he wants, if he wants more, then he goes without pay. Yeah. Okay. So tell me now, why do you think that it should be granted? I don't think you have told me why. Why do you say well, it should be um, granted? From from past experience, from past personal experience, I see you know. Um, I, I guess at, at the time when when it was granted to me, it was a, it was a novel idea, and I totally see the benefits. The benefit is is in several facets. Mm -hmm. One, you bond you bond you bond with the child. Yes. Two, two, you are allowing the mother to get back to work in a more seamless fashion. Yes. Um, three, um, it, 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 it doesn't necessitate the parents start sifting off the, 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 the baby you know, to, to daycare. Or, daycare or, or to some nanny. Yeah. So, so, so early in its life when, 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 you know, in other years you really need the bonding. Need the bonding of, of, of the parents, the yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so... On that basis, and, yeah. So on that basis, there. Uh, okay. You know, and and look, to make a really, really, really need to get more, 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 more with it, as far as child protection. You may even talk about child protection services and everything. That mm -hmm. thing I want is, is one in that name, you know. Yes. You know, so child child protection begins. Child protection begins from not at birth, but. Five, three, four, five months before birth. Definitely. You see, you see, in a, in a, in a Jamaica, when all right, the, the reality in Jamaica is, lots of, lots of young girls, <clears throat> um, lots of young girls give birth or get pregnant in their teen years. Mm -hmm. All right, and in them teen years, um, depending on on, 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 on where you are. You know, a lot of times they are they're stigmatized and they're, they're, and they're left on their own. So they're left on their own and, and they're not pressure by them. I say, boy, Sharon, you are pregnant, you're pregnant. Oh, you so we get pregnant. Mm -hmm. All them things. So the mindset about taking care of a child is not there. It's probably more more like a survival mode. Mm -hmm. And in, a, in situations like that, where, where the, your the normal upbringing of society is not, is not conducive to proper um, rearing of the unborn child.
Yes. Maybe now the state, the country, the government probably need, need to step in now and, and, and provide social services such that such that these these, the, um, these girls get um, get support. Mm-hmm. Because the fa- and remember right now, the fact of the matter is, you know, this this this, this girl at 16 is pregnant for uh, for 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 say a 18, 19 year old boy. This 18, 19 year old boy probably not not in the right frame um, to even be a, be, right, be a father. Right to be either. a father, right? Yeah. So him getting paternal leave, would what would he do with it? Do you think he'll be what there is, nurturing mommy and what, the baby when what, he didn't, what, didn't what, even what want a child to begin with? with? What with who? You mean an eighteen year old? Yes. The same thing that forty eight year old man will do. No, I'm saying what if you have a young man, eighteen, yeah. nineteen, twenty, twenties? He's not ready yes. for it. Well, he was, didn't plan for this child. But of course, yes. like some people that age recklessly do, they go and they, you know, they do their thing and baby comes. <clears throat> now, this young man is not ready for baby. Just in I'm prime, as he puts it, and he want to go the road. So this yes. mother, this young lady who he got pregnant, is now carrying a baby for someone who never really wanted a baby, and probably she herself didn't even expect a baby, but because him can't bear the baby, she have to carry it. And yes. then I'm saying, if he's even working, and to get paternity leave, would he really utilize his paternity leave in the effective way he should, when really and truly, he might find one next girl, because since him knocks she up, really and truly, him not really want that son no more. When he gets this paternity leave from work, what will he do with that paternity leave? I'm just giving right. an example uh, of a scenario. A 19-year-old boy, a 18-year-old boy, has the capacity to learn, you know, to learn anything. Yes. So he has the capacity to learn to be a, to be a parent. But that is, of course, if he is so interested in the, in the role. Because what? you're finding out, know, Dan, Dan, what I think, one of the problems I'm having is that cultures to an, culture to an extent and societal quote-unquote norms would affect how some men respond to this leave. Because people have the view that there are some men who would never dare even look in the direction of the parent and the child, let alone to be there nurturing with her and nurturing the baby and don't get me wrong i'm not saying all the fathers would not because there are fathers i know who would definitely utilize their paternity leave to the fullest in terms of supporting their their baby mothers and their babies bonding with their babies but then what about how do we look at the situation of the majority or many i should say who would just not Give this leaf the time of day. They would abuse and mistreat and just do them own thing while not working and being paid. How do we mitigate against that? Can we in any way? You know, I think um, I think the example you're giving, you're probably more focusing on say uh, the typical 19-year-old who, if he has a job, is a is a odd job. He probably work at a supermarket two times a week or. Uh, uh, you know, no, no, no. Probably not. No, no, no. Not the me talk alone. You talk. I'm talking oh. about big men. No, no, no. But you know, I, I, you mean big grown men like? Tw- yes, man. Grown men old. like Prestige and Cassidy and yourself, where you know, working, have your decent, look a good up, good up job. But then you have yeah. some men who are like that, who they do get the woman pregnant, but then they're really not yeah. the young baby something, they're not really not the, not the, not the baby something right now. When the child get big, 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 and so then we, you know, but the young something now, they're not the bonding, they don't understand the bonding thing, some of them. They don't really want that, they, they think it's the mother's role to, to, to do that part. So feeding the baby, well, when him just born or she just born, they don't really depend on that. Remember this thing is it would be optional, you know. So if them if they don't want it, they don't have to take it. It's no, optional. But how many men will know that they can get it and don't take it? Even <laughs> if they're not going to use it. You think the average man who knows it we can get leave right, from okay, work without okay, sure peace star. You see when you see when you, you, see, you see when you when you claim when you tell about it, by my back my, my crap my back my, uh, my lift up them box there and and you get um where you call it disability leave yes right so so you get disability leave 
next thing you know, um, you take you, you really take this ability to leave because you want to set up a session. Yes. Next thing you know, are you are you at the stone box and your back and your boss here at the stone box? <laughs> Where you uh, <laughs> so, so so then so then you know if um you you got the, the, the time off and and your boss realize it why you're gonna you know take a vacation then mm-hmm. <laughs> yes know, cases is, they get caught is people you, get caught is, but is you the father who, 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 who take, take a risk no yes but so some people want, get if, caught if you want if you want to abuse it you know, if you want to abuse it, remember, remember your 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 employment uh, might be contingent on on on, on your behavior in and around a job. Mm-hmm. So if you are if you want if you want to risk your job and and and, and instead of instead of um, nurturing with the child, you you're out spring and carrying on, yeah. Farm and everything there. That, that's up to you. Okay. All right. But the general premise, but the general premise of the of the whole idea. Yes. Um, it, it's very welcome, and, and it's, probably, it's probably over to you. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely. For some people, they'll agree to that, definitely. All right, Dan, then you thank know, you. A, all right, well, before, before we go. Yes. If, if, if you notice, if you notice, when, when all them cricket, cricket team are coming, so like when, uh, when the Australians come to the West Indies. Yes. Right? And you hear, say, um, um, this guy, him wife, I will give birth. Him, 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 him fly or leave the tour, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's because true. This is, this, this is, this, and this is standard operating procedure in, in, in those countries. Exactly. But is it the very same here? Because like I said before, culture plays a very important role yes. in how well we a- appreciate and, and honor something like this. Because while it is that I believe that there are men who would do well with it, I've heard of cases where men coming to work and falling asleep because they were up in the nights with their babies. Yes, and I can't yes. tell you how much I, I just you, give them the thumbs up for that. Come on, get with it. All right, so whether or not they'll be abused, because in everything you'll have abuse, right? So whether or not yes, they ma'am. should be granted. Right. All right, sir. Thank you very much. All right. All right, we have a different view here, guys, an opposing view from our friend Kevin in Florida. Kevin says, no, no. I don't believe man should get maternity. <laughs> paternity leave, Kevin. Paternity leave is, oh, should get it. Maternity leave is for a woman, okay, to rebuild their body after birth because the woman's body goes through deep stress. So she need time to rebuild their her body. If Jamaican man get maternity leave, Paternity leave, please. 90% chance they are going to be in a bar and club. Lord of mercy. That's, what's, what's, that's what Kevin thinks. That the majority of the Jamaican men would abuse the leave that they get. What I might take is that you're going to find that a man goes on paternity leave prestige mm-hmm. for two or three months. And I really don't have a lot to do because the average woman might not give him a lot to do where the baby is concerned. Yes, you get the chance to, you know, maybe feed and maybe clean. But she's going she's gonna to be there. She's going to want to be there to monitor if he's doing it the right way or going too rough or, you know, mm-hmm. that kind of thing and how to hold him and so on. Mm-hmm. So clearly, understandably, mother's intuition. Well, well, but then... Yeah. You might find a man being on maternity paternity leave, according to Kevin, maternity leave, being on paternity leave, and then he ends up getting somebody else pregnant because he has so much time on his hands. But him not if they are clean up the baby and do all them kind of things. He can't take care of the house, see you know. He can't do the shop, go buy stuff, <laughs> go buy pampas and all them kind of things. Eh? You get me? <laughs> and we if I'm buying pampas in stop and like a shop and no, get no, a no, refreshment. No, no, no. Come on, come get a refreshment. Get a little refreshment. You're on leave. You get me? No shop, nothing. Stop on no shop, buy no drink, and no, 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 no rum. Go home with the pampas no and go relax and enjoy the yard. Rum. I know that a few nights, you know, because I distress where I go through, we don't know, 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 we don't know,
<laughs> we need something for pep up. <laughs> we're brain. You know? But we're not for the womb. And, and, so and, what and, do you say to the man who yeah, decides that you're more bond with, 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 with the mother at that younger age? Well, yes. Yeah. But it, it should also be a case where he's now seeing that his face and growing to see that his face too. Yeah, but 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 it'd be more bond, you know. More but than, what yeah. what will a father who has the time on his hands mm -hmm. do if the mother doesn't want to give him as much to do mm -hmm. and he's on paternity leave? Mm -hmm. What does he? What he doesn't he have the, the, the time now to freely just. Go to the sports bar and grab a drink and all them things. And do all work. kinds of arms. Yeah, because when they work, you're not getting time for that. Okay, you have to wake up 5 o'clock in the morning, go to work, and when you reach home back, you reach home back all 8 o'clock in the night and all them kind of things, and then take a shower and go to bed go sleep. So when you get all them paternity leave there, you, 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 you just, you know, enjoy So you think they should get it? I mean, would I like it? <laughs> But why would it. you like since you're saying that yeah. oh the baby bonds more with the mother at yeah. that age why you want paternity leave if you're not going to spend time bonding with the baby and the mother may i spend time mm -hmm. right but me not got there around 24 7. like how the mother they're on so, so we get leave for yeah. and for the around 24 7. no what do you mean no i may run up and down may i cook I clean up the place the same way oh, because maybe she get um C-section. Yes. You know what I mean? She cut, section, yes, yes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, cut and all them kind of things. And <laughs> me did it help her. Okay. On a level there too. On a level there. Yeah. I hear you, sir. It's not all about just the baby alone. Oh, what happened okay. to me? To me, I have some little free time. Then oh. go... You should have on a free say, time in the nights when the baby goes to sleep. My girl, I'm my time. I get, you know. I'm a workplace. I get my time from, you know. For the baby and the mother. Me? They never tell me not about no baby. You know? <laughs> it never turned to leave. Prestige. They never tell me not about no baby. Call her on the 954. Oh. Good night, call her. Looks like Dandan Dan again. Come on, me again, man. Yes. I understand it now. All, all, all the things run up here you now, them, them, them give you a certain amount of time mm. uh -huh. to be taken within, within a time period. You know? So yeah. maybe, let's say, them give you three months to be taken within a six month period. So it's not like so, as the baby born, you know. Mm. When, when you notice the mother got old, that 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 um paternity leave kicks kicks in. Mm. Yeah, you can kick in any time over over. I, I I think some states in America, yes. they might uh, give you give you, give you up to a year for for it, for, it, for you to take your time off. Yes. And, and it does and it does and it doesn't have to be one um, time off in a block. It doesn't have to be one like three months straight. Mm -hmm. you know, it could be a month here, and then you go back to work. Two months, another month there. Oh, so okay. As long as, as long as as long as you take that three months, uh, whatever time, whatever the, the period is within a um, a set time frame. So 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 it, you don't you don't have to worry about, um, you know, the father has to be home with the mother because look here, that's never happened anyway, you know. Yes. I think them live together. Yes. So so you know you, you don't you don't need to repeat the process. Okay. So in All the right. case so of twins so and triplets, paternity leave the the idealism is that the your, the, the father is bonding with the child and uh -huh. not not bonding with the child and somebody else. So Ox says no hard and fast rule that he has to be there all the time with the child. No, no well, there's no hard and fast rule, but 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 the, the premise of it is that you're giving you're giving the the, the, the but you're, you're giving the child, you know, the, the child get, get, get an opportunity to bond with the parent, you know, mm -hmm. to bond to bond with the father. Definitely. All right. So, so, so if if the, if the mother is there and the mother there and feed and everything, it will be defeating the purpose of um of, of the father being around all day. Yes. Because you're right. If if the mother, you, you you don't you don't want to deny you don't want to reduce the, the, the mom's bonding in the yes. church at the expense of the man of the man's bonding. Mm -hmm. So that's why. So that's why it's usually staggered over a set period of time. Yes. Understand? Yes, sir. All right. All right, Dan. Then thank you so much. We invite you to call in and share. And where are the men tonight? They are so quiet. I want to hear more from the men tonight as it relates to whether or not you deserve paternity leave. If you don't, as a man, if you don't think you should get, we should get granted. Say why you don't think that men deserve this leave. If you know within yourself that you're not staying with no baby mother and no baby when they just born, mm -hmm. when we come home at even time as usual, they will see me. me now go, when we get the leave from work, I'm not going to die at the daytime. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And I might roll that. My car sister come over and help, and my car auntie come over and help, and grandma. And at the night when I come home, we talk to Johnny and 
you know, play with him or play with him and, you know, bond with him when I get in. Mm -hmm. how, how do you respond to a male like that? Who, who, who says that? Because then, then, that, then what wrong with that? Nothing when is wrong we, with that. So when we did grow up, we get nothing like that? <laughs> my mother and my father don't get nothing like that when we are but, but why would you want to resort to mm -hmm. how your parents got it? Yeah. Shouldn't you want to be at, at ten times better than what but, they but had? Me, st me still bond with my mother and my father the same way. Okay. And my great-grandmother. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying it doesn't have to be at this newborn age? No. You don't have to be. Okay. No, sir. And then big, big get time like that. Moon get time like that. Okay. I mean, what am I going to do with my oh, time? Oh, Jesus. No, yeah. sir. I mean, I Ladies, that, I get do PSC not over. get pregnant for prestige. Yeah. Again, you will mm. not get the paternity. Uh, um. Mm. <laughs> You will Amen. not get the comfort of the paternity stuff from, from Prestige. Why not? You're just... If you're, going to, if you're not going to be there in the days... But me not going to spend 24 hours home like that. You need to spend it like with that. me. It's going to be boring no. like that, man. Me just say home 24 hours. Your newborn hour. baby yes. boring. Yeah, 24 hours. With all the crying. The mother, yeah. listen to me. Yeah. Ah, that way me not yeah. can't take it on my ears. So, you listen to me, right? And it's spend poo in every minute. Clear. Me spend two hours with the youth, right? And mm -hmm. the mother said, well, me need to go get some pampers. Mm -hmm. Me go out to get pampers. <laughs> me come back in, me cook some food, yes. right? And me go lie down and get me rest. Mm -hmm. You know? Later on, me roll out, because I don't cook already everything, and I go play some domino. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I come back in at the night now. Mm -hmm. She get the baby milk. Yes. She want to get a little rest. Mm -hmm. I spend a couple hours. Doing what? I, we have to split up the time. We cannot see you. What do I do? What do I do? With the baby. The baby is here in the crib. Mm -hmm. get, get milk and everything already. Fall asleep. Yes. I did lie down. If the baby wake up. But you don't do nothing. If the baby wake up and make two little nice. Okay. You get me, me you know, okay. why the mother rest? Okay. Yeah, but me not go the womb. So you I, be, have my time, I just the womb 24 hours. So you hour. wouldn't be there like rubbing her feet and stuff like that sometime. Rubbing her what? Her feet. She just had baby and she just, she, she's tired, feet yeah, But me not go there for rubbing her feet 24 hours? I didn't say 24 hours. I'm asking, would you be she, there at yeah, any point to rub her feet? Maybe she get a 10 minutes feet rub. She what not get two hours shoulder? and three hours. What about her massage? Maybe she get a 10 minutes rub on her shoulder. Okay. She said she want it. She get it. Like, That's not a problem. Like three times a but week? But the way you look at it, I want to put it to be you know, like <laughs> it's supposed to just hold a rubber her down body, rub her <laughs> down straight. <laughs> you been there, rub her down <laughs> way yeah. before you have the baby. Why you can't rub her down after the baby? Move. You were rubbing her down before the baby come. Me not supposed to move. Me supposed to and it was while you down. were rubbing her down when you, you got the like baby, that. when you got her pregnant. Yeah, so why after the baby born now, you can't continue to rub her down? I want to touch me. Get. It can't work like that. You get me? I say. Well, <laughs> I this person talk. says, I believe fathers <laughs> should definitely get paternity leave. Right. Especially if they live in the same household with the mother right, no and problem the about child that. because me? they will help to care for the child as well. Tamika in Orlando. Thank you, Tamika. Thank you so much. To all me see, you all look on this thing, you know. Right? I owe you that light, this thing for go, you know. Uh -huh. Right? Me get my leaf and the home, and you get yours, right? Mm -hmm. And both of us is home, right? Yes. To all me see, I look on it, you know. It's like if you heen at the bedroom with the youth, you know. Me supposed yeah. to heen at the bedroom yes, with the youth. Yes, man. You know? We're on leaf, man. I was wrong with the we clear, are on man. maternity and paternity no, leave. Me can, and listen, maternity leave, I can't leave my, I can't turns. leave my child up on maternity leave. We gotta take turns. So why should you leave yours? We are there together, together to the end. You're not gonna need time for sleep. Yes. Me not gonna need time for sleep. Okay. So if me and you up at the same time, I do what we are do. Or when we are gonna find time for sleep? Oh. Oh, we can't go sleep. Baby, baby go and sleep together. We can't go sleep together. Together. So the two are we just tired all of us. So we just tired so. Yeah, because we only leave. What we, we, we gonna have to talk about while the baby is here? What we have to talk about so twenty four seven? What do you mean? Just long the whole day. Somebody <laughs> have to go cook. Somebody have to do something uh, in the house. I'm not singing. I'm going to cook, Prestige. You're going to do all of that. Yeah. But I'm saying this road thing where you're so going to have to play know. As me don't know. As me don't cook. Me have to just come back in the room again, me and I. Wherever in the house she is with the baby. Yes, I'm going to have a oh, walk. No, that, that have an afternoon me, walk. That, that work. Yeah. Have a morning walk sometimes. Yeah. An afternoon walk. Yeah. yeah before yeah. it gets too dusty. 
we, we get kind of chilly. Yeah. And you have a little afternoon, afternoon walk with the baby man. You don't have to do too much thing for born with the baby man for make the baby man. What do you mean, man? man? Too much thing? Oh, like you the mean? baby PSM pie, yo? <laughs> Come on, okay, oh, man. You can't have your It's all. You know, you put on the baby, baby coming like a basket. It's heavy over your handbag in your One your thing with prestige is just realistic. I hear you, Kevin. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, man. But you see? Yeah. Prestige. You have to I give have... the baby sometimes for yourself, too. What do you say? The baby just suck on your son, suck on your mommy. Maybe suck, what time for yourself? Uh, 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 mommy, breast, straight. You, you, so, you sound as jealous. You finish so with my breast. You sound jealous. You have to take the baby, hold the baby in your hand. The baby cry two times. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, smell you want to change. Mommy change him. Why right? you, why you can't him change back him? Again and change him? No, mommy change him. Mommy take him back again and change him. Uh -huh. Then she put him back in for me. And again, the baby just like a handbag. <laughs> Let's see who is texting on the text line. Can't <laughs> so, you yeah, clear, man. Uh, no, uh, man. Uh, I don't know if any newborn baby who wants to lie down in a crib yeah. the whole time. He's always no, in the but, hands. Yes, but the baby... Yeah, so the, the mommy hand, need help with the hands? Yeah. Go she only have break. two. It's now 10.30, guys. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. <laughs> and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We soon come back. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1 Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399 To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399 518-2399 Don't forget, 518-2399 2399. The most anticipated party of the summer is back. Styles FM Fan Fusion Party Episode 6 Drunken Masquerade. Saturday, July 13, 2019 at the Bayview Waterfront Property, Oysters Bay, Port Antonio, Jamaica. Come here, Styles FM's finest DJs juggling retro hits from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Admission 700 pre sold. 1000 at the gate. VIP 3500. Style Zebo 6000. Party starts at 7 p.m. sharp. Listen to Styles FM for ticket outlets or call 876 518 2399. Fan Fusion Party. Drunken Masquerade. Dress tropically elegant. Fan Fusion is not just a party, it's an experience. Must be 18 years and older to enter. ID required. Drink responsibly. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk, talking about the issue of whether or not men should receive paternity um, leave. And 
boy, we are having discussion. In, in different cultures, it is the case where men do get these, are granted these leave. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that there's a company here, Flo, mm -hmm. which, well, their parent company had, <clears throat> have, have already, have had that on stream for a while, I mm -hmm. guess. And they are now looking at, you know, yeah. including this as a part of their leave facilities for um, fathers. So, and, and it's a debate that is going on even nationally. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, man. Nationally, Jamaica, yeah. Jamaica yeah. where they are, you know, examining, mm. including that in the... <clears throat> The policy at the companies yeah. and so on. We cannot no, no, many, people, get a job yes no. many people not are too. of the view though that they they should. Me cannot too. <laughs> yeah. I think you're still firing. I should yeah. think you're still firing. Yeah, me a fire. But yes. me don't want no more people now. Oh, you don't want any more? No, man. Remember the, not, I, nothing, I, nothing, I, nothing for the leaf? A grand me a fiat about no man. I don't know, know, know want to leave. Grand people now just run and just jump up in my chest and then look away there and you know. Granddad, granddad, and look away. Not about pitting now. When my baby born out in the back, for me grandpa, the big and for me son. I can't do that, sir. All right, well. There's yeah, some family like that. There's yeah, some family. Yeah, eh? true, true, true. Uncle smaller than they. Yeah. Than them relative. Yeah. Yeah, man, true. All right, so it, it's, it's an issue that many people, it's funny, many people, many women are yeah. of the view that they should yeah and you have also you also have a lot of men mm -hmm. women as well who believe yeah. that they shouldn't mm -hmm. and vice versa even the males there are males who believe that we deserve this mm -hmm. now i had a debate recently with a friend who's and I, my argument was look here now i think the average male might just find himself at some bar somewhere which many are alluding to you know uh, and the average and men. i could be so wrong because i'm probably skewing it to say yeah. I'm looking at the men, at the men who would not honor it. Mm -hmm. But what about those men yeah. who would honor it? Yeah, but that and how do we don't. determine who will and who won't? Because can't tell you about a man some might of them say, who, who won't. We might who? say, oh, a man named Suit, yeah. a, a corporate entity no. job kind of man will honor. Yeah. There's no guarantee. No, I the, know that. the farmer himself in the fields yeah. might want to. Well, he's self-employed. Yeah. But um, another person who might be a skill worker with a company. Might very well be the one to say, you know what? I mean, you need me and I'm going to take the leave and spend the time. Most men so would have want it, but you know what the problem? Yeah, the problem. Most men would want it because they would have liked to know so them get all the three months there and they might get paid. Mm -hmm. And then they can go party and do what they want to do. Because mm -hmm. they have to get up the next morning and think about work when they have a hangover. Mm -hmm. You see where I come from? But it's just a miserable man when they have a woman. <laughs> you see, they don't want it because I don't want to go face up with Sophie when I have a woman. We then kind of problem in my ears because in time it don't work at evening time, I go go face that. So we're going to take three months for going and it makes me stress you out. How is the woman going to stress you out? Come on now, man. If me I, I go through stress know. already. Tell me, man. If me I go through stress already, right? Mm -hmm. Before you even have this baby <laughs> and before you get pregnant. <laughs> and when you, have, when you get pregnant now, because you have a problem with me coming home at evening time, you know. And coming home too late. Not coming home too late. You get me, I say? Mm -hmm. By the time we reach home. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This miserable thing, you always have to find something to argue about. Okay, yes. I keep arguing and arguing, right? Mm -hmm. Boom. You got pregnant. Baby come. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't get this paternity leave, you know? Yes. And I said to myself, say, Jesus, God have mercy, you know? <laughs> no, sir. I don't think I'm going to take this, you know? I don't want it, you know? I don't want it because it, it rather miss your work and work. You get me, I say? Oh my goodness. Because I really ask really my work I don't ask from my workplace if I can work. You I get me? I won't work overtime too sometimes. I, I, I want to work, right? Yes. I get it. I still get my regular pay. Okay. Because it's stress for me have one. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. Larry in New London, Connecticut says, Good night, Miss Cleo and Prestige. <clears throat> it's called maternity leave. Use the time to help with the other child while the mother recovers. Um, is it maternity leave? Maternity is what you give to the mother, no? Mm. And I believe paternity would be for the father, okay? Mm. Paternal, maternal, okay? Mm. Um, 
Well, Mama Celia says, that's what you get the time of four, mm -hmm. to stay with the baby. Mm -hmm. And it's all about us. Yeah, stress. That's right, Mama Celia. Stress. <laughs> <laughs> stress, Mama Celia. Good night to Ava. Good night, my darling. The baby's um, not a problem, you know, Mama C. The baby's not a problem. It would be nice if me they're home and the mother gone to work. I mean, they with the baby, okay. but as long as the mother is home, it's a problem. It's going to be a problem because you have got two problems already before baby even born. So that's the reason why some men would love to take it and some men just say, me can't, me not, me not really want it, but I'm going to work. <laughs> I still work. Just Cassidy, <laughs> what's your take on this maternity, paternity <laughs> leave? Should fathers you. get it? <laughs> yeah. Why you think they should get it? Time off? Mm. But what do they need it? What, what do they need it for? To do what? It's like we need it. But you're not giving baby suck and all these things. But, so, so the baby, that means, uh, you, you see, with you now, man. You <laughs> I'm just asking you. questions, yeah, you see. You see, with you. I want to know. He says yeah. time off. So yes. I'm saying, okay. He said, he, said, he said for the same reason why the mothers need it. To ban with the youth. But we we are the ones doing all the nurturing. Yes. I don't have much. a style too. Yes. We'll take it too. We don't get it, you know. I don't have to spend no time because we're not glad for you so we get all the time there after, you know. <laughs> to chew all the baby for me and gamble. So you know, people want to go all a drink with a friend too. You get me? Yes, sir, I'm going to have to show you. Oh, we shouldn't be, uh, yeah, you shouldn't be drinking. Oh. Yeah, you can't drink malt yeah. or you can drink milk yeah. Yeah, to, put, to replenish. Yeah. But you don't think we want to drink too. And you think I drink it? Uh, 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 fruit, a fruit juice or a fruit punch? Eight weeks gone. So I'm saying, will yes, we leave we, the child with you after like a month or two? Yeah, that, Don't that, you think we want a break too? There's no good time that you got road again. Okay. A good I time that you got road again. I you know? hear you. Eight weeks gone. A good <laughs> week. Good time that you got road again. So you gone a road again, gang and look for who you feel look for, you <laughs> look who you look, look for because what? The time come and you just throw down Pitney and you run gone a road when Pitney is there born with you and you and the baby and, and the daddy supposed to be there. You throw down the Pitney and the daddy and gone too. But, them kind of things but for too. centuries, because for, for, years, the time off. for years, men have been throwing on the babies and the ladies and going away and you're not seeing them again. What is so wrong if that should shift? Where now the woman, he gets paternity leave and the woman can go for a little bit on the road, do some errands. And, you know, once she strong, is strong enough to, to recover and recover to do her thing, she can go back on the road now and do all the stuff. You know, what is wrong with us throwing the baby on you for a day or two? Of a couple hours while we go and do what it is that we do. That is the reason why we get the time after. If you run your errands and feel right, because you cannot move around like that, mm -hmm. right, until certain time. Okay. So me I say, so we 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 we, we just work it up on a level there, and then we say, all right, we're gonna run some errands and run the errands for you and me, and we take care of take care of. And you just home and relax yourself. God, the doctor says, stay home and relax yourself, you know, Miss Lewis. Mm -hmm. You know? Don't act up your body and stuff like that. So, I take the time off, right? You know, see? Because that granted to us. Mm -hmm. So, we get it. And we run with three months, you know? Oh. But why we have to? Why we have to take... I have to take the time off when you are home, too. I can't take the time off. When you go back to work, I mean. I should think won't. it's. I should think you can stipulate it like that. I don't. Yeah. I don't think they. Uh, they have it that. Oh, once she's there, you have to be there. Yeah. I think it, it should be able to go that that flexible. Yeah. Cause them time they be able to start that buckle, nipper buckle. Yes. Eh? Probably right at that time. Yes. yes. And then so they, they run. They run um side yeah. by side. Okay. And then at the same time, just to know everything. All right. So now because. The youth can't give a band me with panel every day when I forget the little nagging nagging on my ears. Because <laughs> she gone back to work. So when she come home from work now and she get her dinner for eat and then the there and get her, her shower and stuff like that now, mm. the baby gone back to she and band with her. Then me gone and play me down and do what I have to do. Okay, sir. Okay. Where is about that? I hear you, sir. Eh? How that sound? Uh, so you, you cook her dinner, you cook her dinner before you leave? Dinner cook, man. Dinner cook okay, for man. Okay, fine. No and problem. Dinner, dear. No problem. That sounds yeah. good. Sounds yeah. good. Kimoy says men should be allowed paternity leave so they can help out the mother to take care of the baby. Responsibility should be 50 50. Mm. 50 percent because both parents bring them into the world. Mm. Well said, Kimoy. Let's see the other part to this Vox Pop. Um, again, Cassidy. So, men should, most persons have said that men should be granted the paternity leave. Um, why or why not? 
Um, as another friend of mine said, it's difficult to to control who will, you know, honor mm. it and who won't. It's mm. very difficult. Because like, yeah. like with anything in life, there'll be persons who'll be breaking the rules yeah. and will be making a mockery or an abuse, abusing mm. the situation that they have. Mm -hmm. So let's let that be said. But overall, the man who is working, yes. whichever job he's in, mm -hmm. You're saying he should be free to get paternity leave, whether or not he will even use it effectively. Right. He should be granted it. Right. All right. Fair enough. What right. is a man's role in the care of an infant? Oh, before we go there, I um, have a take. What if the father does not, doesn't live with the child or the children? Yeah. Yeah. He's going to get paternity leave to do what? What will he do with his paternity leave? Because oh, run, run the child errands, lives man. here. Run errands? Run errands. Yeah. <laughs> Just run errands. <laughs> For the mother and the child. What about those parents who don't want to have nothing to do with either the person? Daddy? Yes. The females who say, look, you know, me don't want to have nothing. Me don't want, me give, me don't want, me give, me don't want to give my child nothing at all. Me don't mm. deal with him. Yeah. Because, you know, with him left, he left her and went to another woman or found somebody hotter than she. Mm -hmm. Whatever the case is. Yeah. So many different variables can cause that. But what if she's saying, look, this man is not, we never expect this baby, but it come. And I don't have, to, have nothing to do with him after this. So how, how do we cope with a situation like that as well? It's difficult to be, say you're going to be granting the pattern to leave when the man probably can't even go to the woman's yard. Mm -hmm. Because many instances you but, find but, where but, the but, woman move on with somebody else. Yes, but clear. After a while. If you know, say we're in a situation like that, right? Mm -hmm. You know, see, we're not going to really take paternity leave mm -hmm. just to go deal with that. Okay. We know, say, we know, point blank, you know, right? Say, my woman have baby, right? Mm -hmm. And me and I depend on terms, right? But it's that still granted to me, see, regardless of the right, matter of fact. Right. But many people me have, have lost that. Eh? Many people have lost that moral compass yeah, but, to say, yeah, but me, despite we're not being together, yeah, but I'm going to support my child. But, not many but, people do that. Yeah, but you have somebody, woman, they were stubborn, man, more time, man. You get me, I say? Because Yanni can get on, she, get, she got pregnant, and then you move on. You see me, I say, mm -hmm. right? Because you move on, you know, and you never know say she's pregnant at the time, you know. And after all, she tells her she's pregnant, you know. I think you move on already, you know. Wow. You see me, I say, right? She get jealous now, and I create a scene now, because what? <laughs> the next young lady we may I talk to. Mm. And she create a scene now, and she said, boy, when this baby born, baby. you know, I don't even want to even come and look for this And maybe baby, if you know? the baby is born and yeah. she discovers certain things, you might want yeah. to carry the baby to wherever you are to, to, to yeah. give you. Not a problem with that. Okay. I don't have a problem with that. As long as I feel my pity. I don't have a problem with that. Got you. Yeah. Fritz Roy says, Brother Prestige, sometimes they've been left the baby with you and say them gone over their mother. When it turns out that the mother is your matey. Oh, mm. my goodness mm. gracious me, oh, my. Mm. The things that have happened, eh? Yeah. Um, Let me hear me tell you already, man. So in the past eight weeks, <laughs> they're up and running. Uh, Rastris says, it's for the baby, the two of us. These fathers are, act like them, them not happy and can brag on them new youth. Mm. It's for us, especially the baby. Yeah. All right. Any other comments there, Cassidy, before we check out one of the Vox Pop? Um, pretty much. Yes, we... Uh, Mama Celia... Okay, we've got that one already. All right, we do have Vox Pop, so let us hear what, what, what one of the Vox Pop is saying. While I think it would be fair for a man to get prenatal leave, the question will remain, who will then make the money while, um, while both um, persons are on leave? We need somebody to make the money, right? But uh, if they take like a one week, which they will, I, I assume they will still get paid for it, then nothing is wrong. The man is needed by the, by the woman to be at her side. And the role of the man in the care of her infant is to provide, provide in all means for the child just I, I think to me it's equal 
as the female and the man would do, the mother and the father would do play both roles in providing for the child. It's an equal role. And after the child is born, then I, I don't think the love remains the same after <laughs> for the partner because the child gets more attention. The child gets more of the love. Um, I can't explain why, what's the logic behind it, but it, his love will, it will take away from his love a little bit. Not much, but a little. You're right. You don't have to do what because you don't have to make the money. That's why you have to stay at work and, and work properly. <laughs> Boy, boy, you have to do the road, they want a kid. Well, some man, man forget paternity leave, of course. And a man taking paternity leave is very much important because both parents are equally responsible for the growth and development of the child. And each parent should be given equal opportunity to share endless time or as much opportunity as they possibly can at the first stages of the child's birth to ensure that the child is developing steadily. You understand? And, and I believe that it should be given not not simultaneously given paternity and maternity leave, but one after the other. As it pertains to the question about men getting paternity leave, I think it's a good idea because they need time to bond with the child as well, and that would be a great opportunity for them to do that. And if it is a job that pays, even if they're not around, then it is a good. It's a very good initiative for them to have paternity leaves. A man's role is child life is to be there for them holistically and ensure that their needs are met. Be that role model that they can look up to and want to be like. I don't think the woman's love for a partner would change, but certainly the child would get more attention than the man. In response to the need for paternity leave, I suppose that would have to be properly defined because um, you have persons who are going to compare to maternity leave and say that, okay, the gentleman, the, the father doesn't go through the changes the mother goes through and all these other angles of maternity and definitions of maternity and paternity. The, in my mind, paternity leave would be important if it provides the opportunity for the male, the opportunity for the, for the father to bond with his child and to be there like in the first, even if it's one month, in that, you know, when the mother is trying to recuperate and heal and she's sore and all of that, so she, you know, whether she did a C-section or, or natural childbirth, you know, her body has to try and bounce back after all of that pain and torture and tearing up. Um, and so it would be good if she has the hands-on help. It's, of course, a good opportunity for the baby to bond with both parents. Uh, I think that's something that also um, in, um, nurtures lo- more love for the patient, for um, f- um, between the parents, if they're really serious about parenting, and if they cherish the baby that they have brought forth. You know, I think it's a, ch- it's a chance to, an opportunity to rekindle their love, um, the, the family, the parents' love and all of that. So I think paternity leave is, is in a sense a good thing. It wouldn't be the three months, which I think is not long enough anyway for maternity leave. It's, it's, it might not be as long because there's a father has to continue supporting the family financially. And we're hoping the men will step up and continue to do that. Um, they had a very good good Father's Day boosting the other day. And I, and I really hope that continues in Jamaica that our men, the role of our men will become more form, up, up to the forefront. And um, men will take up the the baton to run with their role as fathers um, as they should and, and remember that that's a privilege. Uh, the other concern though is some of these men sometimes they have two children being born almost at the same time. So how do they claim for this? How, how do they claim for that? Which which means that men must 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 start getting disciplined um, and start being so loose and basically more running around with different women with no protection and, and bearing children all over the place like weeds. And then they, they, they just escape and have no, um, they get no time to really have a, a serious input. It's not just about the financial aspect, it's the emotional and the moral aspect of fathering or parenting that I think should come out as an advantage of, of taking up a paternity leave thing. And I know it's not gonna be able to, it's not gonna be possible to monitor these things, um, you know, from the, say, the government or the employer's sense side of things. But we're hoping that our family structure, our family life, will get the benefits, will reap the benefits, and our children of course, we'll have more guidance and have more love because hopefully our men will settle down and have a one-on-one relationship with 
one woman one woman um, till they do their part and of course their children and if they are more involved I think they will be less loose about and have about planting their 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 um, sowing their oats all over the place because they realize they realize the challenges and the amount of quality and quantity time and money and dedication it is needed to father one child much less when you have two three all over the place with different women in different homes scattered all over the place and hopefully our men will become more serious and more loving as I know they're capable to be all right thank you so very much dr lumley i believe i picked up the voice yes man thank you so much dr lumley um and she she said something that i really share hope that with the granting of such leave to fathers they become more loving and caring and understanding you know towards their children as well as even the mothers because sometimes when the mother has two or three children you know caring for plus a newborn now it's really rough for her alone that's maybe that's why sometimes they become so miserable too because that, they have all that stress to deal with that's, so that's the it. father is probably there yeah. with her yeah. he could help to minimize yeah. the the agony and the emotional and psychological trauma that she goes through <laughs> <laughs> as a mother no it's true i had one growing uh, up i had one to raise yeah. and i didn't have her all the time yeah. my mom had her for most of her younger yeah. years yeah. and i felt like i was gonna go crazy sometimes with the one then that's about so you imagine when this yeah. when the lady has three yeah. more and the three are behaving worse than the baby giving more trouble than the baby well, that I, so the fathers are, are needed. They are needed. It's just that I would love to see and see our men, and let me say our men, anywhere, everywhere, those men who would want to abuse the, 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 the privilege that they have been granted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would love to know that the men don't abuse it, but they understand the necessity of their role as men. Because sometimes, you know, prestige, real talk, you know. Mm. I strongly believe that, you know, that negative um, stands out more often yeah. than even the positive. Yes. People said, some people tend to gravitate yeah. towards negativity. Yeah. And they, 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 even the kids, when they see negative behavior, yeah. they tend to <coughs> reinforce that more than mm. even positive behavior, yes. even when they know the right thing. Similarly, you find that there are some men who do some things sometimes, and it sometimes end up in... A, a, a large group of them. So instead of us even seeing the few good men that are there that would be the great fathers and the fathers who are even greater at it than even the moms, we tend to not see them sometimes, you know, and they exist, you know. Mm -hmm. But because some of the other men now just shine the bad light mm -hmm. in our faces, mm -hmm. all we're seeing are the <clears throat> ones who are the kinakis. The ones who don't care about the pitney, the ones who just believe in being a financial kind of father where you just provide money and that's it. We, we don't tend to sometimes see the true work of some fathers out there because they're, they're, their lights are under, like, under a bushel or the, the men who are not performing put their light in a little corner. We don't even see it. Mm -hmm. So you find that we tend to be talking about the fathers who this, the fathers who that. Because we are seeing that so much more and more cases of those instances. When it's sad to say we should open up more to seeing the fathers who are really doing a fantabulous job at it. So what I would want to see is that we change the culture, we change the mindset, and men understand why it is that he is in the role that he's in. He has been blessed. His seed has borne fruit. And it's for him to now realize that I need to be an active member of this child's life from the get-go. Whether or not you and the mother are still dancing. Whether or not you and the mother did fall out or not. Whether or not the mother has another man. It's your picnic. You know, so it's for them to understand the very seriousness of the paternal role. It is important, and, and researchers will tell you that from a very early age, when the child grows and starts to, you know, see 
that that unison between mommy and daddy it's good for the <coughs> child child development psychologically emotionally all the allies you can think of it helps that child to be well to be a better person and to be a holistic kind of person mm -hmm. because they now know that daddy and mommy has been there mm -hmm. even if you're not together mm -hmm. even if you're not seeing each other parents need to understand that they have a very serious responsibility as mother and father to work as best they can collectively for the betterment and the development the wholesome development of their child and after the break we go to more of the vox pop it's now 11 o'clock the time is brought to us by vj printing services and real talk is sponsored by native audio stage and lighting don't move a muscle Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. Some say that Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya are found in water and that by drinking the water we can get infected. But that's false. Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya are transmitted through the bite of a mosquito that breathes in stagnant water. Protect yourself and your family. This is Jati, the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 for the Tony Lauren Show in style on style. We're going to eat you off that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the Collector's Edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Biz with Teddy Ledley. Nuff, nuff, niceness. Right here in Styles FM. This and every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Native Audio Stage and Lighting now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting you name it, we'll bring it to life call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531 Native Audio Stage and Lighting a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude Welcome back to the show, guys. Um, still on the paternity leave issue with men. Should they get it? Should they not get it? Big ups to Bright T.I., by the way. Um, and <laughs> his passengers en route from Port Maria to Ocho Rios. Yes, Bright T.I., we haven't heard you in a while. All right. Um, our text line we go to right now. Uh, our friend Heart of Love says... Sorry, I beloved Miss Cleo, pleasant evening, heart of love, King Prestige. Miss Cleo, I am domesticated. 
Miss Cleo, with your elegance and grace of a lady, I will always be there for our child and you. <laughs> That's been sincere in absolute way. It's called cooperative collective unity. Yes, that's where it is at. So while our child is growing, we work out a plan in terms of how we will flex, being privileged to spend quality time as we care for our child. When the father is not living with the baby mother, it is deep. As a doctor and counselor, I have to deal with the situation where they know where they know that they are having unprotected sex things will happen from disease to baby let's counsel these men and women so pretty much he is saying that you know be responsible to begin with mm -hmm. if it is that you know that your lifestyle does not suit nurturing a baby then maybe you're just really not ready for one as yet mm -hmm. at the same time if it is that you didn't plan for the baby, yeah? But baby, come. What are you going to have to do? Let baby suffer the consequences or should you now put yourself in a position where you adjust yourself? You conform yourself and decide that, look, I have another person's life, another, another child's life in my care. I have to now change my behavior, my attitude towards this child because this child is the Depending on me as a mother. This child is depending on me as a father to raise him or her or properly to take care of him or her. So that is where we want some of the young people to get to. And even some of the older men who do get women pregnant and get younger women pregnant too, it's not about just having giving her a baby and leaving her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to fend for the baby and give her the money to buy the feed and the clothes and that's it. No, 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 no. So, 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 one more ask. How long this have to go on to? How long till, what? Till. What? Yeah. How long what? Uh -huh. The mother get three months. Yes. M me get three months. The baby gonna do okay now. Mm-hmm. So you go? Mm-hmm. Eh? I guess. And it, it, that's it, right there. Yeah, when you're three months up, you go back to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then when you come home in the evenings, we still have the job to do together, continuous. Because rearing a child is never a, a part-time thing. It's always full-time. Mm -hmm. Even when they're adults, you're still nurturing and guiding them. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so once you leave time up, we have to break to can spend the time with her and mold and so on. The molding continues. But those first years are like primitive years. You want to ensure that when he looks up and sees daddy's face, he smiles. Yeah. Maybe his first word would be, da, da. But that's the first word that comes out of your mouth, you guys. <laughs> matter of fact, even it if your father mama. wasn't around. It could be mama. Even if your father is not around, at the first thing that comes out, and You're it's too called bad mama, prestige. da, da. Uh, 551 says, good night. I think the man should get it. When the lady go back to work, because the baby would get a next three months at home, by the time the man time up, the baby can can leave can be left at daycare. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jackie, for that comment. Thank you so much. Um, I don't think it should probably run um, concurrently for you. Mm. Yeah, I don't no, think no, it should it should run right. Yeah. Um, but then aren't, shouldn't there be some <clears throat> clauses to this thing? Because if it is that you prestige have a baby in mm. Port Antonio with a mm. lady. Mm. And for some reason, God forbid, mm -hmm. you were to now leave me with the eight-month-old baby, they're about mm -hmm. uh, six months, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. um, and before you know it, I get to learn that you have another baby mother mm -hmm. over across St. Mary. You have one nice hot chick over there, yeah, and you have yeah. another baby mother over there. Mm -hmm. Now, there should be clause, and I think there would be. Mm -hmm. Clause is to say, within a certain time, I mean, I mentioned that to somebody today, and they said, boy, you know, um, we, but wouldn't that be trying to sti sti stipulate how a person lives their life we, and trying to control a person's life? Within a certain time, what? You have another baby elsewhere, another yeah, lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Within another year? Yeah, well, that not, has nothing to do with you. We are talking oh, about mean? the banding now. Come here, you know, there. Yeah, just maybe have a mother. No, 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 no. If it is that you get... Me pregnant. And you're my baby mother. Yes. And yes. You're, you're supposed to be looking forward to getting leave. Getting leave. 
to be with me and the child and to assist and so on and to bond. Yes. But and may then, you live, you know? Whether or not, yeah. whether or not, yes. you know, go and get another woman pregnant. Okay. Eh? You, yeah. must, you must get two leaves? No way. Eh? No why, way. Why not? No way. No why, way. Why not? I think there should be some form of stipulation to say. And if a tree be a mother, why not? Over a year, one year period. <laughs> what year? Over a one year period, as yeah. Dana was saying, you probably can get your three months, but not consecutively or whatever the case is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah? Um, to spend with the child and so on. That might be fairer than you getting me pregnant and I'm looking forward to this baby. And then you just knock me up and two to the pro pretty much just like gone and get another one pregnant. All right, no, all right. By the way, we are no, in my case, we are, I'm saying we are together. Yeah, so what happened? What happened? You can't if get, get no you, more you, leave. What happened if I, you, 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 you eight months? You depend on eight months, belly, um, baby. You just have baby eight months. I may get you pregnant again. You can't get no more leave either. But we, 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 we are go back to early go do. Well, you can't use a rubber. Me say, what happened? Well, if you that can't happen? rubber it up. What happened if that happened? Boy, well, it happens, you know, but you can't get no more, yeah. you can't get no more paternity leave. So, mm -mm, yeah. and leave go. You can't get if that some. be the case, everybody goes out of work for the whole year <laughs> because my girl just decides, all right, yeah. knock her up. Yeah. And then a couple months again, when she come up on her feet, knock her up again. Yeah, but I don't see him baby that. A different baby that baby that dead yet already. You don't get your leaf for that one day. No, can't work like that. You think government have money for pay? A pay, a pay, a galang, so you know, they don't work for, for, for get the pay? No, sir. No. In Canada, Lady Grace says, in Canada, you get paid maternity leave. Do they grant paternity leave there as well, Lady Gracie? Let us know. All right, yeah. Mm -mm. Let's see the other part of this quickly. We do have some more messages coming in, but we do have another part to this to, 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 to dissect. What is the man's role in the care of an infant? Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm challenged by the yeah. question if a man even wants to hold these young babies, mm. these newborn babies, do they even want to hold them? Do you want to hold a, a newborn baby, Cassidy? Yeah. Huh? Why not? Mm. Would you want to hold your newborn baby talking to it? Let me tell uh -huh. you. Yeah. Too because young. of my baby, right? But, but. It, 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 it kind of feel on way because, you know? Uh -huh. Kind of feel on way. Put, put it like this, you know? Four youth, right? Mm -hmm. Two boys, two girls, right? And two of them born premature. Mm -hmm. Wow. Three months. What? Um, three months. Um, premature. Yeah, three pound. Mm -hmm. Right? I want two pounds something. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And them bands they look like Uncle Rat. Oh, did you hold them? Ah. Uh, uh, it's about ladies. They put them in the incubator and they yes. made it for a, 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 a um, couple of weeks well. Yes. Put wow. them lungs develop and stuff like that. A couple of weeks well. And after take them out mm -hmm. dead now, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, more than my baby man and sitting. Me have pictures in our now. Okay, no. cool. I still have pictures. Cool. Yeah, in the hospital, in my gown. Okay, oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Where was that? But, Miami. Okay. But the only thing about it, right? I wouldn't do like go in the hospital and watch the delivery. Why not? You do, you know, so that is do where that. paternity <laughs> leave starts. <laughs> that is see, where <laughs> paternity <laughs> leave starts, my <laughs> friend. You that. You couldn't deal with that. <laughs> no, sir. You couldn't deal with that. No, oh, sir. boy. No, Probably some of the men would faint yeah. away, but no, it, would, it would build their strength of character, no, I believe. I guess the part of coming you now, if, if, if the love is going to get stronger, uh -huh. uh, oh, what, guys? <laughs> you couldn't deal with that. When we say, hey, that come out, and I can't, we couldn't deal with that. Lady no, Grace, sir. that's a she never inquired. We can't deal too much blood. So let's, we couldn't deal with that. Let's see the box pop one more time. Good night, Marcia in South Carolina, my darling. Good to have you. Um, the man's role in the care of an infant. Um, I strongly believe that as a man, as a father, mm -hmm. his role is, is somewhat different. To support the youth. Yes, somewhat mm -hmm. different from that of the female. What it yeah. is that the, 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 the mothers are the ones who nurture and... Yeah provide care for yeah. I think it's the father's role mm. to do the support support yeah. his family to, yeah. to, to, to sustain his family yeah. as well as to protect them okay so 
the man's role is to ensure mm. that this child is protected in every way from physical harm, yes. emotional harm, mm -hmm. and dangers. Mm -hmm. Right? And not only is it the mom's job to to do the cleaning and stuff and the feeding, fathers need to stop seeing it as well, I can't hold him into a little bit. Be a part of the feeding process. If it's express, she express the milk and, and put it to the, to, to the bottle and give it back, fine. You know, give, give it to daddy and let him, let him feed the baby. Mm -hmm. Let him sing. That is, you yeah, can't sing. Mm -hmm. Turn the music and sing and talk to her. And about or him. And about with the goo goo ga 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 ga. You are going like say you want me to take over for the mother role. No, you, come like you, want you, see, the mother role. you see, I am eh? talking about eh? what the man's like you role want the baby, is. You, like, you want the baby born to us more than the mother. No, I'm not saying that. That is not even so much possible. Mm. I'm talking about the fact that parents, fathers understand that they have a role and their role yeah. is to provide care for, for the youth. Yes, and to provide food. Yes, for Support the youth. his family. Yeah. Right? So it is that he is going to do that. Mm -hmm. But I'm also saying you want when this child reach all a month old, him can't help but just want to, want to go to daddy. Mm. That's how it should be. It's like he looks to daddy for everything. Mm -hmm. Daddy is supposed to be the guidance of the mm -hmm. family, yeah. yeah? That is supposed to be the protector. Yeah. That is supposed to make wrong right. Yeah, but when he... That he is, is seen as an era as he gets older. Yes, but when, so, you, when the youth reach um, five, six months, he's just straight daddy. The youth don't know about mommy no more. <laughs> so the youth don't feel a, a, a bond with, 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 with the father. Fan, fan it was a bond, bond that he bond built no, from no, day no, one. No, no, Why no, no. the child when responds youth, that way? That, may I try to show you when the youth reach certain age. Um, uh, 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 say for instance, three, four months, right? I go five months. Mm -hmm. It come like say, mommy out of the picture. Mm -hmm. I take time I fade out. Cause the first thing me pick me I call you know that little baby I call a daddy you know. You I don't so? know why. <laughs> you get me? I don't know why. And I the mommy breast in the pan 24 hours. Oh, will, will, will you agree with this? Yeah. Rowan from Calgary says, Prestige and clear it is paid maternity leave, but it's only 60 to 65% of your pay you receive. 18 months to spoil between both parents' hair in Canada. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Twelve. Hmm. Well, I would yeah. love to see what year. we are going to do. Eh? Yes. I would love to see what Jamaicans would do when it is that all corporate entities and public sector entities have come on stream with this. We need to go to Canada. Passing this, this mm -hmm. one. <laughs> we need to go to Canada. Not sure. We if, can't hold enough, but we are get picked near no one and can't stop me. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Um, mm. it's up to a year leave. Lady mm. Grace says that's in, um, the United States. Yes, in the states. Yeah. All right. The other part of the Vox Pop, Cassidy. Mm -hmm. Did you play two? The two. Yeah. Okay. Another part of the Vox Pop. Do you think the love a woman has for her partner remains the same after the birth of their child? I really want our callers to call in and to tell us. It depends on things like it what? Depends. Things like if it is mm. that she and the man break off. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or if the man, uh, if, if it's a case where she used to be abused before and she mm. developed a resentment and yeah. hatred. It depends. Mm. Towards the man, wow. Mm. Um, well, this is what one comment says. Marcia says paternity leave should be granted. I believe the fathers need to be a part of need to need to be at birth to observe what us mothers have to go through. Stop with your face, um, um prestige. Mm. I have to go through during childbirth. Mm. This will give them a chance to 
bond at an early age. Mm -hmm. Parenting need to be 50-50 and not having daddy as a means of mm. sustenance. Parenting starts before birth and daddy needs to play the role emotionally. Is, and is it now? Will some men want to No, you see that witness? birthing and every man can go through that <laughs> and deal with that. You get me? Because me can deal with it. <laughs> yeah, and it have a change. <laughs> it have a change. They love. <laughs> it will be. It have a change it. I tell you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it have a change it. Oh. Let's go back. We read that one already. Yeah, you know? Yes. Yeah. Let's go back to the. <clears throat> sorry, to the Vox Pop. Um. Do you think a lot the love a woman has for her partner remains the same? I think in some cases it does. I think in many too it doesn't. Because, <clears throat> boy, mark you, people will say it depends on the situation. And yes, there are, there are a myriad of reasons why a woman might no longer mm. love the man she had a child with. And there are reasons why she will probably still be loving him mm. same way. You know? Um, I notice, you know, notice some of my time, you know, after the, 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 the mother of that child, you know, a baby, the, 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 the feelings... For the man, can I? Mm -hmm. you know? but, but I find that some women, mm. I've, heard, I've heard some men, mm. sad to say, feel a similar way when they have a child with a woman. Mm. It's like she's just yeah. parked. But, yeah. At first, some of them see the woman as the queen of their eyes, the apple of their eyes. And then by the time the baby is born, it's like, in the one, go down with a different woman. Yeah. So that's one of the things why me and this paternity thing is at a, a log ahead because mm -hmm. I'm saying how many men will really genuinely honor yeah. this privilege that they have yeah. gotten? You understand? Ah. Roan in Calgary says, reach late, but if Jamaica want to figure, offer a longer maternity leave, workers will need to be, we need to pay into the insurance that's how canada afford to offer this option to families okay very interesting mm. very very interesting um this person says got this one already mm. yes vox pop vox pop cassidy um we look at the latter part again do you think the man love a woman has for her partner remains the same after birth, the birth of a child? Um, I was saying, though, Prestige, that earlier, you find that some men will tell you, and I've heard men, they told me already, mm. I've heard men say, it's like after they have a, one child with a particular lady, it's like, they, it's like when something redundant are done to them. The, Sorry, the feelings is not the animal. Not the same, not the same. Mm. Even if it's there mm. because the man has been stimulated or mm. whatever, it might come back. Mm. But deep down, eh, mm. it's just not there. Me, me don't know, but it, it, it happens that we too. For some of the women, them, then the feelings just die out. And yeah. they just get miserable. And, and it's like they don't want to angry towards the man. Yeah. Wow. They don't even want to come around and, you know, touch a baby and, you know. And then, and, and then this too, at the end of the day, as you said that, can affect some of the men who really yeah. want to be the there real daddy playing them, an the active role in the child's yes. life. This is might say, no, 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 not yeah. touch him, not him hold young, him, so. Young, him young, he, him yes, young. yes. You, know? you don't know how to hold him yet, you know. Yes, and she tends to want to probably be rough on you because yeah. you're holding the child in the wrong way and then you as the males now can't fathom that she's going through a midlife crisis so to speak with all the you know boy, but but some of the men don't understand that boy she's going through this <laughs> you know? emotional yeah. thing yes. because of the pregnancy yeah. probably a postmenstrual syndrome she yeah. take her yeah. you know so they have to also understand, so we have to understand that. yes and yeah. women also must understand that when they buff and buff and verbally yeah. the men about stuff mm. it doesn't help 
But but yeah, 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 if you remember to say we go through some of them with, with some of them mental stress the famuno too. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, so you have to remember that too. We I go hear through, you, sir. You know what I mean? I you hear know? you. <laughs> so I just say go sometime, you know see. You know? So paternity leave or no paternity leave. Women, let us know if it is that your feelings change towards your gentleman we have the baby for. Mm. Men, do you have a change of heart towards the lady who you had a child with, you got a child with? You know, what, what is the feeling like? That's one of the reasons. That's one of the reasons when I said to you, say, I couldn't go into the hospital and watch. My baby mother, uh, I give birth. Mm -hmm. I couldn't deal with that. Mm -hmm. Trust me. How you know? do you know? You have you tried it? Eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm in the hospital already. Now, have you tried no, me in presenting the hospital, somebody? I'm in the hospital, right? I took her in and then in the hospital. And as a matter of fact, I couldn't go in the hospital to go mm -hmm. witness that because remember, I say operation. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't, you know, both of them. So. I couldn't, they never, they wouldn't allow me in there. Yes. Like you know, if it was just natural birth. Mm -hmm. you know? C section, they won't allow. No. So, I couldn't deal with that, period. Mm -hmm. No. Because, wow. I was up in there and watch the pain where she had got through, and I can't deal with the panel every day. Mm -hmm. I got a faint. <laughs> I'm not strong like that. Okay. Yeah. And then after me, watch and see. Where that baby is coming from. You get me a say? <laughs> yeah. What are you going to be worrying about? <laughs> what what about? will you be worrying about? The me? size will, ch will change? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm. Uh, 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 <laughs> enough things don't go to your mind, man. Enough things. You get me a say? I yeah. hear you, sir. Yeah. So uh, it, 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 it's easier for us to sit back in the, the waiting room uh -huh. and, and, and the doctor come and say, Oh, Mr. Lindsay, you know, you get a bouncing boy. I said, okay, thank you, Doc. You get me? Let me imagine now from okay. there on. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay, got you. Yeah. When he ate nine weeks and ten weeks come now, yes. you get me, I say? Me try it. The water now says, if, if everything all right again. You get me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, Marcy in South Carolina says, paternity leave should be granted. I believe that fathers need to be a, at birth to observe what what us mothers have to go through yeah, this during Bertie, childhood. Yeah, this Bertie, Marcia, you know, easy. They will yeah. give them a chance to bond mm. at an early... This will give them a chance to bond at an early stage. Parenthood need to be 50-50. Feelings can change because of postpartum depression. Partner paternity leave should be given because postpartum depression is one of the most cruel situations any woman can face at birth indeed mm. and nothing is sweeter than having your spousal your spouse's um moral support right there being given to you when you need it the most oh, yeah. nothing is in sweeter room? In than room? knowing that this child oh yeah. my goodness in room what? Are you old on to me, Anne? Not only there, I'm talking mm. about anywhere at all. Oh. No sweeter satisfaction. But I want to tell you, you know, Cleo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we must say about and this bonding thing with the youth. You get me, I say? Regardless of the matter, the fuck. Right? Mm -hmm. If you wasn't around when the youth was, when you just born and you, the youth reached three months, four months, right? Mm -hmm. No care what happened. That you ever ban with the same way. You think so? Yeah. No, more one tiger stronger than one man. You know, see, you ever ban with the same way. I tell me, I tell you, then, then look how we grow them thing, go live with life. I, I, I will ban with the father, with mother, same way. And sometimes daddy wasn't around. Okay. Eh? Okay. And it happened. So why in this time now things are going to change? Trust me, things would. Eh? Let, things would. Let, let's, let's, it would. In this time? It would. Eh? The only way we see things change like this, unless the mother take the picnic, 
and give it to the grandmother. No father, no mother is not around. Mm -hmm. You get me, I say, and the picnic grow with the grandfather, and I know not about mother and father. <laughs> so you go back to the ancient of days. Yes. Where children and yes, grandparents. Yeah. But as long as the father come around, come around, come around, come around. The father don't have to be there 24 hours for the youth band with the father. Wow. And if that little baby will call the daddy name first before you call the mother name. <laughs> You're still on that, aren't <laughs> you? Joke. Lady Grace says, both of my sons have daughters two months apart and one have and one have a soul. Daughter two months apart and one, I guess it's one leave to get a saw. Mm. Who is one month tomorrow? The baby is one month old tomorrow. Yeah. My oldest son has to work in B B C or D C and hated being away from his daughter. Yeah. Luckily his job is taking him back to Edmonton. My other mother is worried. Third is my other daughter. My other son Our was son. working three to eleven. He now can't understand why most. Okay, that's a different message there. Can't I, understand. He now landed a great job that allows him to be home and he is overjoyed. Can't understand why most men don't want to be around. <laughs> you see, Interesting. and, and grace, grace of the grandmother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and most of the time, me know, me know say most of the time, the youth them with grace, which is the grandmother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, see, and the son them is not around, which is the father. And I bet you, if they're not there around for one month, two months, and as they reach in the house, that little baby has smiled with them daddy. Oh boy. Well, Nova says, prestige, that's why men must respect women because it's not, an e it's not easy for a woman mm. to bring a baby in this world. Nova, Illinois. Boy, mm. may I tell you, I'm going to have to, if I were to have one. I, I understand that. Yeah. You know? Mm. We know that. But what may I say is that I cannot be inside the delivery room. <laughs> right? When that baby. You need to grow some balls, man. A ba eh? A ball. <laughs> no, can't work with two. Oh, right? boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I don't have that. I mm -hmm. can't deal with the level there. You know? Oh, it's now 11.30. Yeah. The time yeah. is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. <laughs> and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around. We soon come. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 The most anticipated party of the summer is back! Styles FM Fan Fusion Party Episode 6 Drunken Masquerade Saturday, July 13, 2019 at the Bayview Waterfront Property Oysters Bay, Port Antonio, Jamaica Come here Styles FM's finest DJs juggling retro hits from the 70s, 80s, 90s and early 2000s. Admission 700 pre-sold. 1,000 at the gate. VIP 3,500. Styles Evo 6,000. Party starts at 7 p.m. sharp. Listen to Styles FM for ticket outlets or call 876-518-2399. Fan Fusion Party. Drunken Masquerade. Dress tropically elegant. Fan Fusion is not just a party. It's an experience. Must be 18 years and older to enter. ID required. Drink responsibly. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961.
Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518 518- Two three nine nine. Get your Saturday morning start to the right way. It's all about the jump start with Chungy, the Chinaman on your radio from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. It's all about fights from the start to the finish. We're boring a go that get diminished. So whether you're home, on the road, on a bus, or drive taxi, then come listen to Jump Start on Styles FM. We cover the globe like oxygen. Jump Start Saturdays, 6 to 9 a.m. That's at the time. Anything else me leave out? Cho, never mind. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital tea. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artist and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. Digital tea. Our brain. Look, huh? native audio stage and lighting now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events whether it's a stage show concert drama play wedding street party or club setting you name it we'll bring it to life call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531 native audio stage and lighting a sponsor of in the know of the law with sergeant del rose green and also real talk with lady cleo and daddy rude Good, well, um, I want to say good night. Welcome back to uh, Real Talk. We have a few more minutes left with you. Um, Lady Grace, British Columbia. Not sure what's the response in response to what. All right. Um, okay. So we are closing out of the Vox Pop for tonight. Do we have any more comments right there? No. Um, thank you guys so very much for your sharing. Dan Dan, who called in earlier with his, um, with his comments and so on. Thank you so very much as it relates to, yes, she says a new time. I'm not sure what it is she's talking about. All right. But I do have an article here for you and... Mm-hmm. We are going to be sharing it. So thanks again, guys. And until next time we have a Vox Pop, please feel free to share with us. We always appreciate your responses. This one is from lovepanky.com. Yeah? And it says, 25 must-know romantic lines, flirting lines. Pick the right one to win the lady. And if it is that you are going to be so excited about how it is to pick the right line for the right type of lady that you have, you must also be willing and ready when you get that paternity leave, when things start work and business start going, and you get that paternity leave, stick and stay with her. Like I said, stick and stay with her before the baby come. Mm-hmm. Yes? So, by, of course, Natasha Ivanovic. You can hardly see this clearly. All right, so here we go. That will take us up to the rest of the show. And I'm getting some problems here with this computer. I'm not sure why it's giving me some trouble. All right. Um, here we go. Oh, Lord. Prestige. Mm. Yes, we're having technicalities right here. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's soon solved, man. Yeah, yes. Mm, here we go. You saw the most beautiful girl in the world. And moi, 
Mm-hmm. And you must talk to her. Yes. But what are you going to say? Hi, baby. How are you doing? What's your name? Huh? I want to have a talk with you. Okay, okay, then. Where are you from? Which of the romantic flirting <laughs> lines will you use? <laughs> Let's hear it, Prestige. Yeah? Let's go, go ahead. Yeah. Hi, baby. Um, Hi, baby. Hi, Lady Cleo. Mm-hmm. Hello. Yeah. Then you said to me, say, oh, you know my name? Yeah. How you know my name? Yeah. Um... Mm-hmm. My cousin told me about you. Really? Yeah. What did your cousin tell you? Yeah. Say, um, you're a school teacher. Mm-hmm. And I like um professional people. Oh yes? Yeah, so yeah. Well, my love, you me know? take you know, so don't you wanna start liking me at all, at you all, at all. You don't you know what? Don't you wanna start liking me because I'm taken. You're taken? Mm-hmm. Okay. Not because I'm a I'm a card pusher. <laughs> You're not interested in me? Okay. Okay, okay, I guess it is. No, because I'm a card pusher. I like that. You're not interested in me? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a card pusher. I'm a yeah. card pusher. I'm a card pusher. No, sir. Yeah, All right, you man. know what? Let me go back to yeah. my article, you see? Because this thing, you know, <laughs> killing me. All right. I have mixed feelings about pickup lines. But it's not necessarily the pickup lines I have a problem with. It's more about how the guy delivers romantic flirty lines. One guy could ask me if I fell from heaven. <laughs> and one, and I could be completely turned off. But if you say it the right way, mm-hmm. you could win my heart. Oh. I mean, if you tell your boy, mm. I tell your boy. I would say it like me. Yes. When women say they don't like cheesy pickup lines, mm. but that's not true. We can laugh and be charmed by pickup lines, but it all depends on the guy. True, 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 true. Are you saying the line with confidence? Are you using humor? See, these things make a huge difference in the outcome of your pickup line. But before you learn how to deliver a pickup line, learn these 25 romantic flirty lines and charm your, I take it, your lady. Yes? Um, and charm your next date. Romantic flirty lines to win her heart. And I trust that <laughs> it's really our heart you're trying to win, yeah? That's why I'm here. I'm going to help you pick out some winning romantic flirty lines. Some of them may sound a little cheesy or corny, but don't be so quick to dismiss them. Those cheesy ones may actually come in handy someday, seriously. You can't believe some of the pickup lines I fell for. What can I say? It's a romantic. I'm a romantic at heart. So take a look at some of these lines and see what you feel comfortable saying out loud. It, if you're not comfortable with the line, don't use it. You look awkward and unnatural. Pick the right one and you may win her heart. No, I've heard some pickup lines, you see. And trust me, prestige. Mm-hmm. Not a winning could have win for me how with the line there. Mm. No, sir, our baby. Bees sting you. Mm. It was just that past cheesy. Mm. How do you approach a woman and tell her that? Mm. Eh? So why you would say bees sting you? Be sting you. Oh. Oh. And I didn't like it at all. I was just turned off. Yeah. And they have gone, and women can tell you some of the pickup lines that the men have used. You know, asking, telling them what favors they want to grant them, you know. Mm. Deliverance, you know, know me from Adams, oh, not yes, from sir. Eve. Mm. Why you want to tell me those things? Mm. And that, but then again, I guess some men think that it works for some women, so mm. they use it. But it doesn't work for everybody, right? Oh. Oh. Number one, you, your, you ha- your hand looks. Oh, your hand looks a little heavy there. And having this thing constantly coming up. Your hand looks a little heavy there. Would you like me to hold it for you? (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> oh, so smooth. She probably won't expect that line since you're catching her off guard. Hopefully, she'll come up with a witty and quick comeback. So you're trying to offer her some assistance. I remember one gentleman asked me once, you want me to help you to carry the bag? Yeah. And I gladly said yes, because me didn't want to help you the bag for two, the bag did heavy. Yeah. And he did carry the bag. Oh. And when he was through carrying the bag, mm -hmm. of course, he proceeded to try to ask for the number. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, you know, mm. I'm not giving you my number. You don't need my number, man. You're mm. good. Yeah. And I'm all right, too, so I don't need to give you the number. Yeah. I'm disappointed, but who cared? Oh. Right? Yeah. Two. <clears throat> Two. Oh, boy. Okay, so this thing giving me trouble. All right, number two. The only thing your eyes haven't told me is your name. Me back forth. What am say? <laughs> Cassidy, can you say this one for me, please? The only thing your eyes haven't told me is your name. Hey, oh Lord! I, I, I know you can say that. No, I'm telling Cassidy to how to say it for the yeah. lady to. to. Uh -huh. Hi, baby. Uh -huh. The only things your eyes <laughs> haven't told me is your name. <laughs> what is your name, baby? Uh, if all you want yeah. to know is her name, yeah. start with this line. Oh, whoa. at least if that's all you want to know, Cassidy, look and learn. Mm. Three, excuse me. Do you have a band-aid? I hurt my leg falling for you. <laughs> that one is so cheesy. <laughs> we have a caller. A caller on 453. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Yes, good night. <laughs> oh, hello? Yes, ma'am. Good night. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm good. And where are you calling from? I'm present in Middleton. Milton from Pleasant Hill. Yeah. Oh, is your first time calling, sir? Yeah, because I normally listen to the station every day. You normally, okay. Good on. Well, tell me before we yes before we go to these cheesy lines. Do you think that men should get men should get paternity leave from work to stay home and help the, with the babies, nurturing and caring for the baby? Sure. All right. How you're you're in what age range? In your twenties? Huh? You're in what age range? Your 20s? 20. Are you in the 20s age range or you're older? 37. Okay, so tell me, would you really, really, as one of those disciplined Jamaican men, would you really take the time off with you and stay home and help with the baby? Sure. I didn't hear that. No young one, no young one is not there. I don't hear you. No young, no young one is not there. I didn't get that. Question. What you say when no one is at there? Uh, what you no, say? Young one. no young one is not there. No, but what about when mm -hmm. the mother is there, you can't be there to so assist too? Yeah, but that's true. You have to, you have to do something or you know, something has to be done. Yeah. Okay. So, you see a cook and, and you're there when you have to and nurse and tell them something there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you wouldn't mind getting leave from work for one, two months and stay home and help out where you can help out? Yes, that's a sure, sure, today. All right, so big up yourself. You're gonna be, you're a father. Yeah. So you're gonna be one of those very good fathers. The next baby you get. One, one eighteen or one twelve. Oh, whoa, big man, thing, man. <laughs> big man, thing, sir. All right. So yes, what about sir. these pickup lines I'm reading now? Have you ever used any of the man and the lady and win our heart yet? Sure. What line did you use? If it's, if it's fit for airplay, please. What yeah. line did you use to captivate the heart of your baby mother or your wife or girlfriend? Um, um, wife. Your wife? Yeah. Oh, which was the line that you used to catch win her heart? Tell us. You can share with us? Tell me that you would miss that. Tell me you prestige, prestige one. You want to use prestige one? Which one? Um, let me never get the, get the full, the full story as I want to go on, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But Percy is supposed to know me good like that, you know. Eh, Milton, we are going with man. But you want to have a bath? Yeah. <laughs> You're good. Yeah, I have a good bath. I have a couple of days. I have to go and relax. I have to go and take it like it. But Where wife is there? Wife is there work or wife is there home? Huh? Where wife is there? She's there work or she's there home? In the house. In the house? Uh, so you're a screecher call? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, man. You know, man. That's, that's how you don't really want to say nothing. Because you don't want a wife for a year. <laughs> All because, right. Big up yourself, Milton. Big up yourself. You know, we never, go, we never grow this up already still. Oh. But I run off. Run off. Yeah. Mm. All right. Big up yourself. I go out and take it easy. I listen to antique, antique style. Okay. All right, sir. Say good night to wife. Yes, good night to wife. Say good night, yes, to wife wife good night for us. Huh? Say good night to wife for me. Yeah, man. Respect, man. And you know, she's a nice lady, you know. Yeah. Mm, antique lady. All, All right, right, sir. Big up yourself, yeah? Thank you. Take it easy until, until um, next couple of weeks. Bring uh, it up and... Fan fusion, all, all right. right. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. If you take a, get the ticket, then you buy the ticket, then them put on a wait for me. That's right. All right cool. Yeah, man. All right. So take uh, care. I'm, I think they, I think they have, think they have my, have my ticket, them you know. From the boy in the have my ticket, them. Well, that's good. You'll be there then. Yeah. All right, sir. All the best. Yeah, man. Take care. And, Stay sweet, see me, cause you know you're nice all the way. All right, sir. Thank you. All right, lady Cleo. All right. What do you say? Miss Cleo, nice all the time? All the time. Everything <laughs> was she weird. Everything was she weird. Don't look, no fit on everything, but. Yeah. <laughs> They're nice, I, easy. I listen to me, 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 I listen me, I listen to me, I listen to me, I I hurt my leg falling for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, women fall for these. Falling in love hurts. Hopefully, she has the supplies to mend you up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Number four. <laughs> I can die happy now, knowing that heaven exists. What? Can you get any more romantic? <laughs> it's ridiculous. I hope Celia... Roper Johnson is listening to this, you know. Uh, because she and I will have a good laugh come next week. Yeah. Yes. Number, she, she must tell me her favorite. And Desreen, mm. Desreen at the canteen. Listening and let me know which one of these win, would win your heart, you know. Yeah. Ladies, we want to know which one you're falling for. Or you would you think would capture, captivate your heart. Number five. If you were a vegetable. Lord Jesus. I never want to read the murder one here. Yeah. If you were a vegetable, I'd call you a cute <laughs> cucumber. <laughs> cute cutie cu- no cute cute cucumber. Can you imagine? Yeah. Guess they could use that line on somebody. Yeah. If you were a vegetable, you better have I'd say, call you, you a cucumber. You better have you cucumber. Say, better have you know, say cucumber and done. Yeah. 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 Cucumber. Yeah, cucumber. Oh my goodness. Mm, but you're well, this is definitely a flirty pickup line. Before we finish the show, guys, you're gonna have to give me both of you are gonna have to give me your mm. your your lines tonight. Mm. So I'm gonna ask Daddy Root to also call in and mm. tell me his pickup line, please. Mm. Gentlemen, we have about ten Mr. minutes or so. Missing my one already enough. Think of one more, because I forget were, it. Yeah. Yes, when the show f- soon okay. finish. Mm-hmm. Cassidy, please think of your pickup line. Yeah. Please, and thank you. Number <laughs> numbers, <laughs> number six, number five, fool. Number six, wow, you're so gorgeous. I forgot my pickup line. Huh? Mm. Oh, Jesus. No, sir. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Number, <laughs> oh, boy. Number six. Number seven, rather. You better know CPR because you take my breath away. I. A song that him a sing. Hopefully she knows CPR. Mm. Oh my God, she's gonna have to blow in her. Take my breath away. Oh boy. Eight. Aside from being sexy, what do you do for a living? Aye, aye, aye. aye. What's up? I like that one. I like that one. Then me not yeah. lie. I like that this one. This is definitely a yeah. cheeky pickup line. Mm. If she's into it, she'll flirt right back. Yeah. That one. That just kind of so nice-ish. Number nine, do you believe in love at first sight or should I walk by again? 
<laughs> you've fallen hard for her and you've only seen her once. I guess it really was love at first sight. Sure. Number 10, excuse me. If I go this way, will I be able to reach your heart? Oh, Jesus. No, sir. Mm -mm. <clears throat> no, no, no. Number 11, there may be plenty of fish in the sea, but you're the only one who catch my eye. Or catch my line. <laughs> <laughs> fish catch eye or your line or your hook. Oh, let me, let me readjust that one. There are so many, there are plenty fish in the sea, but you're the only one who caught my hook. Eh eh, shall I run? That must sound right. If you met off of the dating app, plenty of fish. This certainly suits the scene perfectly. Oh my goodness, no sir. Mm. These pickup lines are indeed really, really cheesy. Number 12. Do you come with coffee and cream because you are sugar? Do you, have, do you come with coffee and cream because you are sugar? Huh? She's as sweet as they come and you can't get enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Number 13 says, um, May I get you something? Water, coffee? My heart. <laughs> if she's witty, she'll give you a killer response. If not, you may just be getting a cup of coffee. Fourteen. I'm falling in love with you already. That's that's awful for me. Uh -uh. Mm. That's a turn off. Sorry. If I told you you were beautiful, would you hold it against me? Hey. Hey. hey, well, she can't say yes, now can she? 16, you're the reason why men fall in love. And also the reason why men join the gym after a breakup. <laughs> She's the girl every guy wants, and you just happen to be talking to her. 17, forget Spider-Man, Batman, and Superman. I'll be your man. Huh? Yeah. Boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if she loves comics book, loves comics books, mm. she loves this line. Uh -uh. Eighteen. Can I borrow? Hold on, dear. <clears throat> Number eighteen says, "Can I borrow a kiss? I promise I'll give it back." <laughs> oh, give me a break. <laughs> that was tough. That was I know tough. you'll give it back. <laughs> Use this line only if you know each other for a while, or else tough. you'll come uh. up as weird. Can you like borrow a one. kiss? Yeah, I'll give it back. I'll give it back. 19. I think I just found the girl of my dreams. Please wake up, brother. Just wake up. <laughs> yeah, sleep. <laughs> What's your sign? Huh? That's a pickup Sorry, line? Yeah. Women love horoscope. Trust me, I'm a woman. No matter how much we deny it, we're already curious to see what our sign has in store for us. Okay? Yeah. 21. You're my compass. Without you, I'm lost. Whoa. Sure. So like Shakespeare, yeah, man. <laughs> she stole your heart. Now you don't know <laughs> which way is up and which way is down. We don't want no full fool, man. We don't know up and down and left and right. My heart stopped. <clears throat> You're this one in all prestige. And Cassidy, listeners. My heart stopped beating when I looked at you. That could be a bad thing. Mm. That could be a she could be that unattractive. Your heart stop beat, then you're not gonna call the caress. Uh uh to and all these things. <laughs> and all these things. Who wants their heart to stop beating after they see a woman? I want I want the heart to start beating faster. Yeah. Anyways, 23. Do you have a map? Because I'm getting lost in your eyes. 24. You have the prettiest smile I've ever seen. That would not work for me. I swear it. Liad. Oh, liad. If she has a stunning smile, you just have, she just has to know. 25. <clears throat> I'm going to spend tonight dreaming of you. <sighs> okay, then. <laughs> what a song. Uh, no, my uh, the king. Lama tell. Dream about what? Go down the, the Probably dream about getting into my skirt. Yeah. Number eight on my own. Go um, let me see the rest of this. Looking to impress a girl you like, 
use a pickup line. Sometimes they can be a little too much, but if you choose the right romantic flirt line, it could be a perfect way to ease the tension. Mm -hmm. And that is, of course, for single men who mm -hmm. need a lady. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, Cassidy, let me hear yours, please. Number eight. Don't take on nobody's own. I want you to blow up your own one. Build your mm -hmm. own. You know, take one of people. Um, what's your name? Ivanka, Ivanovich, something. You're mm. give, giving your own a mm. pickup line tonight. Mm -hmm. And we're at the end of the show. In about a minute, so give me your pickup line, please. My pick this line. one is, aside from being sexy, what do you do for a living? This is yeah. mad for true. Yeah. This is mad. So I want your own pickup line now, sir. Mine? Yes, tell the ladies your pickup line. And let's see if you're going to win, win anybody at Fan Fusion. Fan Fusion? Yes. Go ahead. While he's thinking, ladies and ladies, let me just tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that Fan Fusion is on July 13. Put that date in your phone. Get a big alarm to remind you the day before that it's tropically elegant outfit. Get your mask and all these things. Style Zebo is practically probably all done. I don't know if they can find no more Style Zebo. And I know somebody who wants Style Zebo said that the road. Me forgot to talk with you. Yes. And they have um, VIP 3000, Style Zebo 6002. Um, armband passes and a bottle of muscat, a large bottle of muscat and all these things. Yeah, man, big, big things. And of course, regular 700 at the gate, 700 pre-sold, 1,000 at the gate. You can't afford to miss it. It promises to be ecstatic. Drunken masquerade, come out and have fun. And remember, we say and we endorse and we not take it back. No little picnic should not be there. Providing you are and we suspect it, we are going to ask you to exit. All right? So it's big people, something, something, something. It is retroactive music. Oh, my God. All the fantabulous styles FM DJs will be there turning the tables and doing their thing. So lots of surprises in store for you all. Come on out and have a great fun. Great fun with us. The best way to kick off the summer holidays. Okay? Yeah, man. Fan Fusion. Um, Oysters Bay. Bayview Waterfront property, July 13, the second Saturday in July. It starts at 7 o'clock. Please don't come at 12. You'd have missed many of the DJs already. Okie dokie. Yeah, man. So, looking forward to anticipating that. I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. I don't find much. <laughs> but I'll be there. Don't worry. So, let me hear your pickup line, please. <clears throat> Go right ahead, sir. You're going to have a pickup line for us, too? Yeah, eh? I think. <laughs> eh? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. <coughs> Let's hear. Cassidy, what's your pickup line, sir? Yes, I want you to go first. <coughs> yeah. I can go first. You want me to go first? That's a problem. Yeah. You go first. Okay. Yes. All right, so it goes like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Baby, you know, you look like two-yard wife material. I wonder if I said our things. <laughs> I can't say that kill me. You look like two yard of wet material if you said our things. <laughs> or Pablo's. <laughs> can't say you're too hot. <laughs> so let me hear yours now. Baby, I'm not a rich man. I'm just a broke individual. Would you mind a man like me? I want a man like me? Hell no. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I better have me to say the next year. No, you Definitely. Know, you're not you like jump on me, not you? Yeah? Uh, oh, my goodness. Well, before we close the show, let me see. Daddy would never call me with him pick up line, but watch me and him next time because he went after to give me for him pick up line. Well, um. <clears throat> We know and it's not a poem we ever tell you to say we want to No, we don't want a poem. Yes. Something's coming on my mind from a long poem, time. We don't want to say a poem. No, something I know long time is in my head. Yeah. And it just popped in my head to share. Yeah. So you have to tell me if you're both Five fell minutes? for it or no. Or one second. One second. Okay, go you ahead. You both then. tell me if if you if you fell for it or yeah, not. Yeah. Go ahead. So you listening, Cassidy? Mm. <clears throat> tell me if I pass the test, you know. Yeah. 
All right. Use the voice. Bless up yourself, Lady Cleo. Yes, you too. Mm -hmm. It was a good program. Catch you next week. You guys, guys, signing out. Mm -hmm. Bless up yourself, Kimoy, and to all our listeners tonight. Yeah. So here's my line. Yeah, use uh -uh. the voice. I'm going to use the voice. You want some water? <laughs> no. Oh. <clears throat> it's a famous line, so you might hear it before. Why are you using someone else? Because like? I just come to my mind. And I come to my make mind. Up something. Oh, all right, let me make up something. Sure, man, it's sure done in a man. Say, say we are you were asleep on <laughs> Daddy Road. Yeah. Yes, he yeah. is, apparently. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Don't make up anything. Say the same thing, really. I'm going to say? Okay. Mm. When God made a woman, mm -hmm. he made a work of art. Yes. But he would have had to make you yeah. the man. Yeah. The masterpiece first. Yeah, one second gone. Yes, that's it. That's it? Yes. Oh. And <clears throat> so yeah, when God think, made woman yeah, I, I, tur I turned it around, really. Me me read that already, you know, I turned it in a while. Let me turn it around. Oh. It changed up. <laughs> 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 when so it's originally when God made man, yeah, he yeah. made a work of art. Yes. But when he made woman, he made a masterpiece. Yes. So I've switched it for you. Yeah. Because when God made woman, woman he yeah. made a work of art. Yeah. But he would have had to make you first yeah. the masterpiece. Oh. So you're turning yes. switch around. Yes, man. Oh. Because me a teacher. You have to be yeah. able, able to change up things yes yes so mm. it passed me no mm. no it passed what you say you're gonna make up now for myself yes you're gonna make up not like that you, after no it. no no really but we can't make up mm. something same way make me yeah. impromptu just like that go ahead when i see you oh all i want to do mm. is be close to you oh i want to feel you oh. <laughs> Oh you know how people, God. we have come to yeah. the end of the show tonight. <laughs> oh, it was a pleasure working with you. And <laughs> until next week, on behalf of my crazy co-host, <laughs> DJ Prestige, <laughs> and my other crazy Pink's Fabric um, yeah. engineer, Cassidy, <laughs> Lady Cleo signing yeah. up until Cassidy, next week. Um, the, the, the man of many words. I tell you, we're yeah. looking forward to the <laughs> summer holidays. All right, guys. Until next time, peace out, Walt.